so everyone it is now oh crap i don't know the day anymore but it's three months later 19th of chess i think that was where we ended so now it's the 19th three months later god in my calendar of har harp toast again <laughs> does anyone remember what that date is hold on calendar of harp toast i think it's like it's like sh it's like way past the f month of flame roll already. I think. I think so. Yeah. So a whole season has passed. Yeah. Um. So your child's not born yet. So don't okay. worry. I don't think you'll miss that. Yeah. So okay. Chess is here. Arsak, Mirtul. Ah, okay. It would have been twenty ninth. And then now it's the 29th of Kithorn. Or no, sorry, it's Flame Rule now. Oh, it's, okay. the it's the 29th of Flame Rule. It's just like two days until midsummer, actually. That'll be a nice way to end the campaign, like Midsummer Festival. <laughs> Alright, so, anyways. <clears throat> Yeah, it's the 29th of Flame Rule. You all finally have your preparations done. Um, if Cinnabar were here, then she would have crafted her magic, her legendary magic item. But for now, I'll just say that she's still working on it throughout the session, making okay. the finishing touches. Yeah. All right. Then uh, I'd like to give this opportunity to players and the PCs to kind of like, you know, prepare for the worst. Like if you want to write a letter to your loved ones or something like that, just in case you don't come back. If you want that kind of guy. Them. No letters for loved ones because he knows he's coming back home. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Dante, yeah, because like Dante is like super prepared he probably has like multiple letters stashed away in like different <laughs> locations yeah. already yeah. And, like so he's got that covered okay you got that covered already understood and rare uh, uh Fenrir, i guess basically just ask his mom so uh when i die who's going to take me <laughs> dad or you <laughs> That's so awkward. <laughs> and what then she just says, uh, uh, Try not to die, Han. But I think how it works is that you go to where your god's domain is now. And you mo worship like multiple deities, so even you're not sure at this point. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, where do I end up going? Maybe Valhalla, yeah, but... so I can keep fighting. <laughs> Maybe, oh, yeah, you know. Or warriors where I'm going. or wherever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to Valhalla. Going to Valhalla? Alright. So you believe that you'll go to Valhalla? Okay. <laughs> Alright. No, no, Rock. Link. I believe I'm coming home. Yeah. Going I... home. I tell, uh, I just tell my wife, like, you know, if I die, I have Dorothea over here to just resurrect me again. But if somehow my soul can't return, I'll make sure that the child doesn't grow up fatherless. Like, I can still come down here from time to time, like, as a ghost or something. So, you know, a ghost or something. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> that makes her worried even more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she it's... Understands. I mean, I, I just tell her, like, listen, I, I have my domain back. I'm pretty strong. Death is mostly, like, a revolving door for me at this point. Like, I'll be back somehow. Yeah, about that. She's not so sure about that, because, like, you know, um, even though you've gotten your domain back, you still struggle with, like, how do I say? Doing some of the godly things that other gods do, like, you know, preventing people from teleporting to places and that sort of thing, or taking over somebody's body as like... What do you call that again, Raf? I remember there was something like that, like... 
you know, like, an avatar. Hi. Yeah, an avatar, creating an avatar, yeah. Yeah, so like, I mean, you did get your domain back, that much is true, but you haven't been able to do those things lately. It still seems to be further down the line. You still need to gain followers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then I just start like, Listen, as long as Dorothy is here, he can still resurrect me, so that 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 shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> uh yeah. So she kind of thinks to herself like, okay, like hopefully everything will go all right, as you say. She yeah. does tell you though, make sure that th nobody tries to trap your soul or anything though, then that would be problematic. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. There you go. This woman All has right, a lot then... of like meta knowledge, you know. <laughs> it's smart, man. I, I don't know. Is, <laughs> is she? Does she have sad She's actually a. She's actually a retired yeah. level twenty adventurer. <laughs> right. Yeah. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Dude. She's more of a god than any of us are. There's so much world experience. <laughs> exactly. She 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 doesn't have ten HP. Does she have like two hundred HP? <laughs> she's just she's just a very educated woman, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean she kind of has to be. Dude. She's marrying a freaking you know, a freaking adventurer. She got interested after a while, you know. It's like read right up on all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Knowingly, how does a god sperm work? She's like Superman <laughs> sperm, you know. It's oh, like she was <laughs> like a torpedo. God damn it, dude. Or do you control this? Oh my god, you can control the sperm. You're a god, right? <laughs> no, 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 I use mage hand to do it all. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow. That's perfect. That no. is perfect. Why? That's Why are we talking about this right uh, now? It just, it just crossed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's stop there. I don't know why it only crossed my mind now. Like, that's always been a thing. Like, his relationship with his wife is always going to be a thing. But it crossed my mind now. Alright, alright, mm -hmm. moving on, moving on. <laughs> so, okay, um, so, to be clear, Dorothea will help with giving you all the fees before you head in there, but he won't be heading in. Yeah. Like, he won't be heading deep into the shit in the shadow fell. Yeah. But, yeah, as noble as he is, he'd like to stay alive, if you of know course. what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I'd also ask him if he has this, uh, he can spare, like, if he can cast true seeing on one of us, so one of us can have true sight and, like, you know, be alert with some unseen stuff there, just in case. Sure. Let me see how often he can cast it, because maybe he can cast it on all of you. The Kirin, right? Kirin. Yeah, a Kirin. Like, he okay. needs... Just enough so he still has a slot to a plane shift back to his home. I remember hunting those things in Monster Hunter. By the way, how long does Hero's Feast last? Because you can probably give that to you before you even go in. 24 hours. So, right. oh, it's 24 hours. hours. Oh, I thought it was 8 hours. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it lasts uh, how long? 24 hours, yeah. So, you know, he can cast this before you guys go. What is that? Six level spell, he casts it on you guys, and then everybody eats the hero's feast except for the illithids because they can't stomach that stuff. Yeah. yeah. What does hero's feast do? It um, will. Uh, it makes a lot us, of things. It yeah, makes us, it. It makes us yeah. immune to poison and uh, being frightened, and we do all our wisdom saving throws with advantage. Nice. Anyway, I'd like to clarify, so it doesn't make you immune to poison damage, it makes you immune to the poison condition. condition. Yeah, mm -hmm. condition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just to clear that out. But, yeah. That's still a great thing, so you don't get poisoned at all. And we're immune to being frightened. So... Yeah, you're also immune to being frightened. Uh, it, it's hit point maximum oh. also increased by 2d10. Yeah, yeah, so let's roll that. You have to roll that, yeah. Does, does Dorot roll it, or do we roll it for ourselves, each of us? Uh, so the way I always interpreted it is that the caster rolls it. Yeah, the cut, yeah. And then everyone gets that. Makes it so much faster. Yeah, it makes it so much Ooh, faster. 13. So everyone gets 13. 
Thirteen. 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 Th
she tells you to head in that direction. And she also notifies you that she'll try to bring you as close to the stronghold. So I finally have a name for the stronghold. I'll put it here. It's called Sulphur's Stronghold. Sulphur's Stronghold. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> She'll be teleporting you a bit away from there. She'll just teleport you to where she last remembered it being. So... Who knows whether it's still in the exact same place or if it's like moved a bit. So okay. yeah, she puts you there and then you guys are kind of like finding yourselves in what seems to be a swampy area. Oh. And yeah, like a swampy area in, in the material plane looks really dirty and gloomy and all that. Over here, it looks like times 10 of that. So mm -hmm. the water is black, and yeah, like it just looks like a really dreadful place. The dead wood looks even deader over here. Oh my god! Oh yeah. um, by the way, uh, I want to say also I took this time to cast the find familiar spell that I have in my ring of spell storing. So oh yeah, sure, no problem. What okay. what form do you want your familiar to take? A hawk. Ooh, a hawk. Okay, so we have a hawk and a dog. Okay. Yeah. Goodness me. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Token for the hawk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks for that, my dude. I'll download that. Um. So anyways, there you go. You have a hawk with you now. Um. um. Let's see. Yeah, okay. The hawk help you out with like surveying the land if that was your plan yeah me and the hawk we will try to get an eagle eye view of the place so i grow out my spectral wings and fly up to see the area hawkeye hawkeye man eagle eye <laughs> you missed it it's hawkeye you missed it man <laughs> you missed opportunity hawkeye <laughs> all right so yeah you guys like survey the land you can't see too far away like your field of vision even in the air because it's just darkness all around and also kind of like no color what but what a, uh, okay what about my devil side though your devil sight only goes up to like 120 feet so it won't help in terms of seeing miles away if you know what i mean okay and then yeah. I'll try to use my uh, detect magic, my Eldritch Sight. Do I see any magic nearby? Or well, I mean, you see the Shadow Fell magic, but oh. yeah, like that's pretty much it. Okay. If you're thinking in terms of like a huge mirage um, sort of scenario, then no, like that's not happening right now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you guys head on forward. Um, from where you are flying, you can see what seems to be the structure of the stronghold in the distance, but it's very hard to see. Your only kind of like clue that this is the direction to go is that, well, it's the only other thing that looks like a structure based on where you're standing right now or where you're flying right now. Okay. Hmm. Uh... So that's the only structure nearby. Mm. Yeah, everything else looks like a wasteland. Or if there are any structures beyond, it's just covered by shadow. Do I'll, can we, do we notice if there's any like creatures flying nearby or like some creatures sprawling around the area? It's too dark from your viewpoint. Okay. You feel, you consider yourself lucky that you could even see a structure from this distance, let alone other features. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right, all right. Uh, by the way, I have my sword, right? Like, it's complete now? Yeah, you do. So, uh, yeah, I think we finalized the stats for that already. I don't yeah, know if there yeah. was anything that was, like, unclear. Uh, 
No, I think it's complete, yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, you relay that to the party and you go on what is a pretty perilous journey. So we'll skip through that whole thing because, like, you know, it's just you guys traveling. However, I'll ask everybody to make a constitution saving throw to see if you're exhausted because it's pretty... It's pretty, like, hard on you guys, this journey. Got it. All right. Oh, this is a saving throw, right? Yeah. Yep. It's a constitution sure. saving throw to resist being exhausted. Which I think sure. most of you will make. All of you have high con. I also have advantage in the trick. Oh, no, it's just uh, yeah. medical back second. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, dude. Oh, wrong, no, wrong, wrong, wrong character, sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, Fairlock. That's the wrong character, all right. <laughs> Where are the rolls? Dante has 20, so you're fine. Oh, I got 14. Fatal has 14, you're fine. Nice. I have to roll for my two dudes, okay. Let's see here. Oh no, it's not two dudes, there's a lot of you. Oh okay. shoot, it's still 11. Oh. Sad. What the heck? I got 8. You got 8. Okay, um, so Ulf isn't exhausted. Let's roll for Fiona. Oh, Fiona is exhausted. That's too bad. Let's roll for the Illithids now. They have like no constitution to talk about. 20, so he passes a philosoph. Uh, one is exhausted. Uh, that one's not exhausted. And that one's not exhausted. So only one of the illithids are exhausted. And Fiona. Okay, just one level of exhaustion for the people who failed. It was a DC 12. So. Oh, oh dude, Rico is also exhausted. Shit. Yeah. Fenrir is also exhausted, what the fuck, guys? Dang. I don't know, man. Rules, what can I say? What can I say? How much was the right. DC for that? Was it just 10? It was 12. Ah, Goodness. yes. That was so close for Fenrir, shit. Ah, oh, man. It's okay. Alright, anyway, so... um, Take note of this, everyone. For exhaustion level 1... Let's see here. Condition. For exhaustion level 1, what happens is you are having disadvantage on ability, ability checks. checks. Yeah. Mm. But it's not the worst thing in the world. That but includes yeah. attack rolls. Uh, no, it doesn't. Because that's a level 3 exhaustion, disadvantage ah. on attack rolls and saving throws. That's when ah, you yes. know you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Got it. <laughs> That's when you know you're in trouble, dude. If ever you get to that point. Alright, so... Yeah. Take note of that. I'll put it in trackers, who is exhausted. So, exhausted. We have Fenrir. We have Rico. We have Fiona. And we have... I'll just say Cephalosk. There you go. Cephalosk. Okay. Don't mind, everybody. Okay, so you eventually get to the, the outskirts of the stronghold, and it's at this point that you have a better view of the location. You're probably like, I would say, let's see here, 500 feet. You have kind of like a good view of the area, and you're mm. trying to stay hidden, so there's kind of like some... Things that you can hide behind, like rocks or a hill, that sort of thing. And yeah, like at this point, if anybody wants to do some scouting with their familiars or some other spell, you can do that. And just do a perception check. That's what I can do. <laughs> I'll, uh... There's not much that you can see from the ground. Ah, so, okay. So, yeah. I got the thing. Yeah. Um, with this one, you'll need to be creative, like maybe you go up a terrain, or maybe like you use a spell to see through. Mm. So yeah, 
what do you guys decide to do? Dante doesn't have those spells prepared today. <laughs> I have... Understandable. The thing is, way back in session one, we have that leathery dwarven head from the sea. <laughs> oh my god, you still have that, that's true. I need to hold it by the neck and like see it, right? It's kind of like a, like a telescope of some kind or something. I just hold, have to hold it by the neck. That's how it works. You have to hold it by its beard, yeah. So, you know, oh. it's not going to be super helpful in that regard. Just, you know, you have to hold it with your hand. It won't work with like a mage hand or something. Okay. What about this eyeball that's in a jar of liquid? I remember we took that as well. What is the... I'll say that you've had enough downtime to experiment with it, and it's just an eye, dude. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm like, I still have this, I just throw it <laughs> in the ground. It's like... <laughs> what the... Um, yeah, um... I will say you got rid of it a long time ago, and you realize it's just an eye. Yeah, I've been carrying this for how many months? Uh, Dante, okay. Dante will take it. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go, uh, you I. I could... I mean, it's not... The, 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 the shru this leathery shrunken head isn't really... I have to hold it still. Uh, hmm. If I try flying up and looking, they might also see me. That's true. I asked that Dante, like, thing. can't you, like, sneak around with your shadow cloak around? I can, also but... Possible. I can, indeed, but... Uh, I am... not as confident. I did have the greater invisibility spell, but I did not prepare that today. I do not... I did not memorize it. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh... Hmm... If... Okay, why don't you uh, do some sneaking around, and then I'll give you this parchment of this spell that has the expeditious retreat, and if anything happens, just fall back and come back here. You'll be extra fast with this with this scroll. Ulf kind of like suggests that if we're gonna do scouting, he will be casting a spell to enhance that. So... Oh. While you're discussing that, he has casted Pass Without Trace on everybody, just to make sure everyone has it. Great. Oh, good. It's plus 10? Yeah. Yeah, it's plus 10. Alright, uh, Dante will activate his cloak by... Uh, did I prepare an incantation for that? I forget. <laughs> but... He casts the sp uh, he activates the cloak and you guys see shadows just like seep from his cloak and he becomes heavily obscured and uh, he goes like by the time Rico's finished like explaining and like okay so you go past and, like he turns around it's like Batman like disappears. It's like where and then, where'd he go? It's like god damn it, not again. It's like that. <laughs> Not this shit again. By the way, hold on, I forgot to resolve one thing. So you asked him to cast True Seeing on some of you, yeah? He'll yeah. use his 7th, 8th, and ninth level spell slot, because he's not adventuring for the daemon. Okay. He'll cast it on three people who all of you designate, so... Um, uh, who would the three lucky people be? Let's see. Um, give one thing? Yeah. Maybe the spellcasters? Uh, who has uh, like a high perception check? Like, oh, Fenrir, six. how much is your. You got <laughs> six. What about Fenrir? Seven. Seven. <laughs> I also have six in my perception. Oh, uh, the modifier. Okay, yeah, not. Dante has a negative one. Oh. Yeah. His investigation is nine, but not okay, perception. Okay, good. You have that. Since you're our scout, it's better you have that. Okay. Um, True sight. I'll take... Uh, hmm. I think uh, Fatal and Fenrir should have it because I still have, like, Detect Magic and... 
uh, devil side, so I'll account for that as well. I, I'm not like completely lacking side. Mm. You're giving me what are you giving me? True side. True side. Ah, true side. Oh, yeah. I hope that everybody's tracking their own buffs. At this point, I can't keep up with yeah. Yeah. the buffs yeah, yeah. you are putting yeah, on yourselves. Yeah. Well, that's my first one that isn't in my HP, so. Hey, there you go. Alright. Does so my got... Creon to Dark Vision help here? So, true seeing only goes up to 120 feet. Yeah, 120 feet, yeah. Your dark vision of 300 feet, it kind of helps with looking far in, but you're like 500 feet away from the base or from the stronghold. So you can, you can kind of see like patrols here and there with your 300 dark vision. And the patrols look like hobgoblins, which coincides with what Ulf was telling you, that he's here to go after some hobgobbies. Is uh, there any secret doors that uh, Dante would notice that's hidden by magic in the stronghold? That's hidden by magic. Uh, he'd have to get pretty close for that, because oh. dark vi the true sight only goes up to 120 feet. So, Dante, go ahead and roll me a stealth check with okay. advantage and plus 10. Yep. Like, oh, man. <laughs> okay. How, how are you going to fail this, I wonder? <laughs> uh, Yeah. Hang on, how? Huh? Sorry, I was typing my buffs. Okay. Stealth, ADV, bonus plus 10. Natural 20 oh. plus 4 plus 10, 34 DM. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh That's my good. god, dude. <laughs> how the fuck is anyone going to spot you? Yeah, sure, dude. You're one with the shadow plane right now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Dante's just blatantly cartwheeling around, and the hobgoblins are like, we will pretend not to see that. That's too cool. <laughs> You're too cool for this plane. It must, it must be the wind. Yeah, it must be the wind. Just like every NPC said, it must be the wind. Yeah, it must be the wind. Or no, it's like in uh, Splinter Cell, you know, it's like, uh, I don't want to know what that's like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> That pieces of that game is too smart for their own good. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so, okay, yeah, I'll say that you get close enough to get a good look. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll roll for Ulf as well. So, here we go. Yes, he has to be with bad you. Ulf. I don't think he will. Okay, yeah, that's not terrible. Okay. Fenrir has that's 300 like... feet dark vision, though. Uh, yeah, I resolved that a while ah, okay, ago. Okay. He can see some patrols there. Sorry, sorry. And I think you'd be smart enough to do Rari's telepathic bond, so he's kind of like assisting you, and that's how you got your 34 roll. <laughs> got like, it. Uh, you get out of there, get out of there, you know? Ah, okay. Yeah, go. Alright. Um, yeah, and then you get to get a closer view. So. What you see, right, is like a bunch of tents in the area. Uh, what seems to be a bunch of, um, what do you call this? Barricades? Like wooden barricades? You know how in wars, like they put the wooden stake barricades to prevent horses from yeah. charging in? Right. Yeah, that sort of thing. You see ballistas and catapults all around this place. Um, you can see some of the, like, what do you call this? The hobgoblins with their tent set up and like gathering around the fire, eating food and whatnot. Um, you also see like orcs in the camp. So this is really weird because usually orcs and hobgoblins are fighting each other, but right now it seems that they're just kind of like begrudgingly living together here in this stronghold. Okay. Um, strangely, right now, no signs of demons anywhere. It's either there aren't any demons, or you just haven't seen them yet. Oh. Okay. Dante relays all of that in me telepathically. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ulf over there, Ulf there with you also says that I see my target over there, and... This looks kind of like a leader of sorts for what seems to be the hobgoblins and also the orcs. 
Although you see that the arc also kind of the arcs also kind of have a leader of their own, but you know he's like not calling the shots because you know they're just mm. not intelligent enough to do so. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Then Alf says that uh, that's who I'm after. Got a chance to get him today. And after that, well. I'll be saying goodbye to all of you guys. He's saying that telepathically. Mm. There Fuck this guy again? <laughs> uh, this is Ulf. He's, yeah, a... Yeah, he's a goblinoid looking thing. Okay. Uh, he... Yeah, he was around in season one. So like, yeah, for the yeah. two players who've been here since then, this guy is like a nice face to have again. All right, so yeah, you relay all that. What else do you want to do at this point, Dante? Because if you get any closer, although you're shrouded in darkness, like Ulf isn't, so yeah. Um, if I if Dante goes closer, does he need to make another stealth check? Uh, I'll say you don't need to, but yeah. then, you know, like, you may be heavily obscured, but it's really easy to see that the lights, like, suddenly dim. Because there are light sources there. There's, like, fires right, and right. also the so aforementioned... So they might not see campsite. me, but they'll notice the environment darken. Yeah. Ah, uh, got it. So, so, um, so that will set them off, like, uh, what's going on? I'll get as close as possible to where, like, there are, like, the, the edges of light sources so that... Uh, I don't dim anything drastically. I have resistance. That'll save me from con save. <laughs> Aww. It's okay, man. Some other time for resistance. So, okay, you get as close as you possibly can, right? So, okay. Mm. You get as close as you can, and you see Al... You see Alcaros in the distance he seems to be in what seems like a bigger tent and he emerges out from it then after that he kind of like just walks towards the middle of every one and mm. then he just kind of like looks around and surveys what everyone is up to so yeah that's like the situation right now if you want to stay there and continue watching so yeah, what do you want to do? You want just want to <laughs> wait it out until he does something? Uh, no. Dante will back away and he will... But I do want to determine if they're prepared or they're like... Would, it, would that be like... What kind of check would that be for me to figure out if uh, they're ready uh, like or if they're ready? Preparing. Yeah. I see. Okay, make a general intelligence check. Uh, yes, sir. Intel Go ahead. Twelve. Twelve. Oof. That's not great. Um, for all you know, like, they're just starting or they're already ready. It's hard okay. to tell. Got it. Uh, Dante just retreats back while relaying that information, uh, telling the party that Alcaraz is there in the middle. There's a large tent within the uh, the keep or the what's it called the stronghold. Uh, yeah, and they seem to be prepared. But... Yeah, like you can say you can assume that just so to assume the worst. Mm -hmm -hmm. But yeah, okay. Yeah, that is the situation right now. Okay. So, a bit of a clue as to how many there are since you got in pretty close. There seems to be at least like a hundred hobgoblins and orcs, maybe even more than that, beyond, you're not sure. Mm -hmm. But in the area that you were in, you easily counted hundreds. Mm -hmm. Hundred. okay. Yeah. Uh, and just telepathically, like, lay out, like, the goals we have here. So our goal is to get Alcaraz and to, for off to get his target. And we also, pla like Dante, we plan to use the stronghold to get your grandfather's attention, which is... To take, take it over, I guess? Take over it? 
we get over, so we have to kill everyone here? <laughs> Dante will say, I do not think killing everyone uh, is necessary. As long as we take control over their leaders and show to them that we are uh, we have the upper hand and we have control, then the rest should fall uh, into place. Hey, right now, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah. And, so, you know, you guys have mowed down lesser beings, no problem before, so, yeah. So, I think our so issue here is facing uh, these, the, the generals by themselves without all these other hundreds of goblinoids mucking about. That's true. We have to assassinate them, like, somewhere private. That, Somehow. and I would also be comfortable if we can draw out these forces, or at least majority of them, some way with either a distraction or with an attack on another side. Like, and what I'm thinking is that Fenrir and I can take those things out, you know, like, they're gonna do a diversionary attack. Oh, while you two, no, while you two. <laughs> can handle the generals. How's that sound? Hmm. As confident I as as confident as I am in uh, Bishop and I as abilities, uh, I would be comfortable if we could face the generals together. Um, you know. Yeah. I'll rig this all bum rush them right now because we got the offer. <laughs> <laughs> Take them down as fast as we can. I admire your enthusiasm, Fatal, but um, I feel like this uh, assignment requires a more delicate hand. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. So if it's not diversionary attack or bomb rushing, then what do you have in mind? No, no, mm -hmm. I, I do like your diversion attack, but I would oh, prefer I if... Stay together. I would prefer that... Um, you don't spend too much of your time there and... Uh, come meet us when we face the generals okay. after. Wait, hold on. I don't have any teleportation shit. Fuck. That's my problem. Oh, dude, you don't? Shit. No, I don't. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have something. Do you have a scroll? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. If we want distraction, I yeah, could yeah, summon a water elemental and make him cause a huge distraction. Ooh, yes. We yes. have an elemental gem. That should work. Mm. That should oh, work. Yeah, actually. you do have an elemental gem. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we need uh, wa some water to start summoning the water elemental, but I have the decanter of endless water. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. It's perfect. That could work. That could yes. work. That's what we need. Oh, Raph. I'm I should so happy really... that you're using your stuff. <laughs> I should really get rid of this fog cloud and just replace that with some. Oh, no, it's a clear spell. I need to take off a sorcerer's spell to get teleportation. Anyway, yeah, go on. Did, did you do your level up? So yeah, I did. I did. But I got kind of stars, that's it. I only have one free spell slot. I want free spell I can learn. Okay. I have Don't to forget you can replace a spell too, though. Yeah, 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 I could. Excellent. But that's the thing, I'm already in the session, so... I mean, right, we I haven't fought anything yet, so I don't actually mind too bad. Okay, okay, sure. I will look into something so I can get a mobility spell, aside for Thunder Jump. Yeah, because mm. like we kind of like thrusted you into the session without leveling you up properly first. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Thank you. Dude. So I'll just tell you what I change, okay? Because I'll probably just take off one spell. But that's a problem. Is that uh, I don't have the mention door. Is that <laughs> the mention yeah. door is sweet. <laughs> but the thing that I, what I was what I was looking for is like um a real teleportation spell that could make me move like a thousand feet. You know what I mean? Yeah, with distance spell, I think you can double the distance of dimension door, and that would take you. That would be a thousand, yeah. That would be a thousand. thousand. Yeah. Things that I don't yeah. have that meta magic. I don't have distance that. Oh, I don't have, no. Yeah, distance spell. So. Uh, it's not bad though. But yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine though, cause we're going with the water elemental thing, so huh. I could stick with you guys. Yeah. Okay. All right. The thinking. So... That's why. That's why you're the general. <laughs> That's why you're the tactician. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So okay. So you summon your thing. Is it just an action, Ralph? I forgot what the rules for the gem is. The gem, yeah, I can use an action to smash the gem and 
use its energy to summon a water elemental. And it's as if I'm concentrating on the water elemental spell. Nice. I see. Yeah. Yeah. And that's way better than casting freaking summon conjure elemental. You have to cast yeah. that shit for one minute. Yeah, yeah. You have to okay. do that. There you go. Okay, so you smash it, and then using the water from the decanter of endless water, you would have expected like a dark colored water um, elemental, but since it's from the decanter, it's it's a clear water elemental. So yeah, it kind of stands out, which is good for you because it's trying to be as you know ostentatious as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and what's your command to it? Because you do have to command it. Yeah. Uh, I tell him, I want you to go to a direction opposite from us right now. And when you reach there, grow as massive as you can be and cause a huge distraction on the camps there to draw the guards' attention, okay? Okay. And then, because he is bound to you, he will do so. Nice. So... Yeah, try not to lose concentration on that. It still works the same as Conjure Elemental. Yeah, he will get hostile. But then, yeah. hopefully we're too far away from him to, like, think that about that. a problem, yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah he's going to be hostile to them, so... <laughs> yeah, to the summoner. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Okay, it heads on over to that direction. And, yeah, it's working as you intended. The first thing to come into, like, the first ones to spot it are the orcs. And then the orcs kind of, like, shout it. And everybody's hearing this, like, you know, like, shoot that thing down, stuff like that. So, um, uh, I, so this I, is good information because yeah. now you see that something from the camp seems to be casting fireballs on the thing. Ooh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Seems to be that there are some spellcasters up in there, so your your water elemental won't last for very long. But you do have an opportunity now to sneak in. Yeah, the minute we hear the commotion, I'm just like, go, 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 <laughs> go, like go, a SWAT go, SWAT team, you know, let's like go. A SWAT team. Yeah. yeah, SWAT team, just like that FBI meme where they just wreck everything in the house. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> and, uh, gentlemen, we got them. Does my does my Eldritch Sight pick up any uh like barriers or whatever in the stronghold, like with my detect magic? Yep, uh, no, not, there doesn't seem to be. You feel that they wouldn't have put any protection there because it's too wide. Like and it, the way yeah. that it looks is kind of like well, okay, you'll see it for yourself because I'm gonna put the map now. Anything in the ethereal frame plane I can and see. <laughs> For 120 uh, feet? <laughs> uh, not really. No circuit doors, nothing like that? They're just yeah. ghosts there, you know, being like, sad. They're just chilling, yeah. They're just ghosts chilling. Being sad with their lives. Being sad with their lives. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, we just tell the ghosts, you know, that we see, like, oh my god, move on, please. <laughs> stop, stop haunting this place, bro. Yeah, stop haunting. <laughs> move on. <laughs> hmm. And if only that easy, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? That looks like a I'm freaking demon I'm, or devil. Is that I'm a black knight? I'm picturing the place as like the Helm's Deep in the castle, but I don't know. It's like <laughs> huge, bro. Helm's Deep castle. This is yeah, huge. So, so, like, shortly after you sent the water elemental, right? Like, in the distance, you hear the flapping of wings as it's coming down. And then it landed kind of there. Alcaras, you see, is also positioned here now, kind of like seeing what the hell's going on over there. Wait, that's a black knight? The one who fought? The dark yeah, knight? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> that's his name? Okay, cool. I thought it was some other dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's his name. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, his cool, name. cool, cool, cool. Good to know. Good to know his name before I kill him. <laughs> Makes it, you well, know. Fiona made it clear that you, she doesn't want you to- Ah, she wants to redeem him, right. Oh. Yeah, dude. Very well, good. I'd make her know it's that okay, that dude, doesn't you've work. You've been away you know. for two sessions, so yeah. yeah. I, I also tell him, like, we may not have to kill him, like, if we could extort information from him with the Elithid's help, and, you know, if he wants to redeem himself, like, 
he can do it to you know he can find a way to bring back the angel he killed if that's even possible <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, he forgot to kill that dude. The what do you call it? The celestial. Yeah. All right. So I'd like everyone to spawn here. I'm going to create a box for you to kind of like spawn yourselves in. So uh, over here, anywhere in those spots. Uh, where? Oh, the red one. Okay, got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna increase the size because there like go. yeah, there you go. Because there's I realize there's a lot of you. Okay, Elf is here. Fiona. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, Twilight Shroud? What is that? Oh, by the way, I banished my familiar for a while in the pocket dimension, so... Ah, uh, okay, sure. It'll take an action to bring it back if you want. Yeah. Alright. Uh... Oh man, I can move your shadow around, Wayne. <laughs> uh, I think you need to make it become an attachment. Yeah. Yeah. And Alrighty. Then... Fiona is gonna be close to everyone, because she wants everyone in her aura of protection. Nice. Good job, Fiona. Awesome. Yes. What? Okay. She was the, she's the former follower of mine, right? Or was she like Coralon's follower the entire time? Oh no, she's... Always been a follower of Coralon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's not too late to convert her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how faith works, man. <laughs> what are you talking someone... about? People do that all the time here. Yeah, Muslims <laughs> become Christians and right. Christians become Muslims. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying so. that it's not so terribly common. If not ah, okay. Okay. Is there time yeah. to cast like buffs that last longer than a minute? I'll stay sure because they're yeah, not really focused on you guys right now. I'll, okay. In that case, I'll cast Idiots. Fire Shield. You, nice. You have time to cast First one time. buff, I would say, because sure. so your your like what do you call this? Your elemental is about to go down. Sure. I will sure. bless. So I'll give myself bless. Who else get bless? How many people people can get bless? Three. Um, I think it's three. Yeah. And then I could get more with second level above higher. By the way, you also had a chance, like while you were 500 feet away, to drink your potions that last one oh, hour. Perfect. So I don't, do don't have any. Oh, nice. I'll drink those. <laughs> uh, yeah, take the fire giant strength thing. I will, I will bless the hitters. Um, oh, hold on. I think Judge just came back. I'm going to open the door. BRB. All right. For sure, for sure. So I will bless, once I get blessed, boys, I will bless Fenrir, because Fenrir is a hitter. I think Dante also wants to get blessed, right? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Bless me as well, because I'm Eldritch Blast. Gonna... Oh yeah, Eldritch Blast, there we go. I was like, when do you need it? <laughs> it's like, oh, if, you, Eldritch Blast. if you upcast it, you can add yourself. Yeah, more people. Because I'm thinking that this is attack roll. Does that include my spell attack roll, right? It does, yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Mm. So I will second level spell slot so I can get that. So technically all the PCs get it. Nice. All the PCs, you're just ignoring the rest of your command. They don't, for all I know, they don't exist in my world. <laughs> <laughs> so by the way, just so that we don't have too many units on the Let me put... side, I'm just going to say that the I will... units are helping. Hashtag bless, okay. Busting. I will put a note. Uh... Let me put a note, okay? So that I can, I can remember oh, your wait. Buff. What are the elephants doing? They're helping out by mind blasting things. As far oh, so as it's helping. Can. Okay, so okay. Yeah, so okay. It, that's that's what I will say is the reason for like not every one hundred oh plus is like fighting you guys right now. Okay, good, good. Yeah, that's fine. I I tell the elephants don't go melee. Just keep a distance and stick to mind blasting. <laughs> Did I ever yeah. tell you, Rafi, that ever since your name is self Rico, it reminds me of the dude from Starship Troopers. Yeah, I know, right? Right, that's Johnny Rico. <laughs> I, I just imagine the surface. Did you know he's actually Filipino in the novel? They just turned him into yeah. a white guy in the movie. Wait, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah the, the novel is supposed to be Pinoy. What? Reason. He's supposed yeah. to be Pinoy. Dude, that blows my mind. I didn't know that. Oh, no, really? The novels. But then they they race swapped him for the movie. So. Uh, that's, the, dang it. That's just yeah, wrong, man. That's just wrong. That's awesome, though. I didn't know that. That's so cool. Yeah. Alright, everybody, let us I'm roll right. initiative. 
I, I'm curious what that Dark Weaver thing is. Pretty cool name. It's my cloak. <laughs> Yeah, By the way, so what do you see are these three over here, and way out at the bottom left, there's these guys over here. Ah, yeah, I saw that. I see those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got I have it. no idea what those guys are. Uh, cool. this one, is this one the target, ni Ulf? Ulf's target? Yeah, the one that's like at the farthest left side. Got it. So we yeah. can get two birds with one stone here. Good job. What's that big thing? <laughs> I'm um, pretty sure it's a big demon or something. That's a Baylor. Baylor. Yeah, I don't know what the Baylor is. Dude, yeah. dude the Baylor is so much better. <laughs> no I'm kidding. I think Pitfin is so strong, but Baylor is like, it can pull you, man. Jesus. That's that scary. It is scary indeed. All, right, so all of you are unseen right now, but they aren't surprised because they know that they're being attacked right now. That is true. That is true. They're yeah. not. So as soon as you, you know, do your attack or go out into the open, then, well, you know, you won't be unseen anymore. Great. Wow, uh, okay. Uh, I rolled up two of my initiatives. Oh! oh. Someone Oof. be my initiative tracker, please, because I'm going to be holding for my dudes now. Yeah, I'm pointing mine right now, so we can <laughs> go. <laughs> Tell me. You know what? That's fine, because I've been rolling really high initiatives the entire. Oh my god, okay. Next up is five. Oh, okay. Dante is five, right? Seven. Yeah. Seven? Shit. Well, let's go for Dude, come on, man. We've been doing so good in this campaign with the initiative. Come on, y'all. The moment I joined it, everyone just gets like shitty with the initiative. The good news is that you're not seen right now, so like, you know, oh, count your good. blessings. That is good, we're not seen right now, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fenrir gets tall, right? Oh, dude. Uh, Rico? Rico? I'm 19. Okay, nice. Awesome! Woo! At least we got someone good. Of Johnny. has five, by the way. I will name you Johnny. Like, 19. <laughs> Johnny. Five. I just recently watched like what do you call it? Fucking Starship Trooper, like what do you call it? video like movie analysis and shit. Movie. So funny. I feel like how stupid that movie is, but that's probably one of the reasons why I like it so much. <laughs> um, Fiona one. got ten, whoever is recording. I am recording. Fiona got ten, so you're after Fenrir. Yeah. Funny funny fact about that movie, uh Denise Richards was supposed to be cast as Izzy. Really? But she wasn't ready to show her tits, so... Oh, she was like, oh, let me just, let me just make that one. <laughs> she describes that. That Ooh, movie. That's not good. Okay. The Hobgob's got... Steen. What's his name? His name is Ulf. Uh, U-L-F. U-L-F, okay. Ulf. Ulf it's Steen. Uh, no, 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 no. Ulf oh. got five. Ah, he got five. But the hobgoblins, some other hob hobgoblins got 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make them go as a group. I don't uh, want to read their leader. Dante, who wants to go first? Dante or Ulf? Uh, uh, I mean, Ulf says you go first. Okay. okay. Yeah, because yeah. you know Dante, he's an NPC, so. <laughs> <laughs> orcs, orcs also get 10, so they and Fiona have to do a roll off. Let's just see who gets the higher of the. Uh, oh, that, should I write them down too? The initiatives of the team? Uh, which one? The enemies? Orcs? Okay, if you're writing them down. Okay. Yeah. Um, 16 for. What's their. Hob Goblin. Hob Goblins. Yeah. But Hob, you know. 16. Uh, now happened? I have to roll for Alcaris and the Baylor. Go. Alcaris, the Black God. If I recall correctly, Alcaris didn't have legendary actions, right? Nope. And okay. he probably still doesn't. Yeah, okay. Alcaris also got five? My goodness. Alright, you know, well, keep it simple. He's just gonna go last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so going um, It's just kind of sick and tired of like, oh no, no. Yeah, I go last. Fine. I don't need initiative. I don't need initiative. Dude has spell guard shield. Come on, the guy's like impossible to hit. He also has like local displacement too. Oh shit. Yeah, dude. Alrighty, and then finally the Baylor. Baylor doesn't have a whole bunch of decks, does he? Nope, just plus two. 
Dude, if you're that big and you still have plus two decks, I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, he got 13, so Baylor at 13. Alright. Alright, we got this. How All do right. you... Who wants to be the DJ? Uh, I don't actually know how to use the thing, by the way, so I don't think I can be the DJ. Can I be the DJ and try it? How do I do it? Let me look at the code. Ice. Okay, let me try it. Uh, you can play. Okay. I'll go for that. Let's look for a cool one. Going to be deleting Alcaraz off. Oh. Like, it's the same thing. It's five. So I'll do How... it like that. How epic do you guys want the music to be? Like. Oh, I have a request. Do you want? I want it to be um, Persona Five. Ah, sure. Yeah. Which one Hello though? Music when you're fighting. Life will change, right? Doesn't life will change? I look for it. Yeah, it's Did called it Blooming Villain, I think. That's the name. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty, so go ahead. Dark Weaver, Fire Shield, Blast. Nice. Okay. Round one initiative. Go ahead, Rico. You are unseen right now. I am going to cast. Uh, I can make it. This is within range. I'm going to cast Synaptic Static and sh hit Alcaras, the Baylor, and this guy in the middle. Alcaras, the Baylor, and this guy in the middle. So one for each, then. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, this is like a 20-foot radius. Wait, let me see. 20-foot radius. That would be... I think... That'll hit everyone. Yeah, that'll hit everyone, yeah. This is synaptic, you said, no? Okay. Yeah, synaptic static, yeah. All right, so... Well, there's no advantage for being unseen here, but they have to roll int saves. First, his int save is not great, but he has magic resistance. Can you guys hear it play? I can't, actually. I think I we have to redo that. that. Yeah, I don't no, know. Let me do it again. I'll do it again. Okay. The Baylor passes, he takes half damage and no additional effects. Oh. Um, we'll go with Alcaras here. No oh, that's the wrong one. Alcaras has no bonuses, so he'll probably fail. Yeah, he fails, dude. <laughs> That's nice. 11 only. So he gets the additional effects and full damage. And then finally, the Orc Warchief. He's not intelligent at all, so... He's a dumbass. 16 minus stuff, so I think that fails too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So, um... Everybody, so everyone fails except the Baylor. So go ahead and roll your damage. Twenty-three points of psychic damage. Mm. Nice. Okay, twenty-three damage. Twenty-three damage, and half of twenty-three that is eleven damage. And put a note for draft for the additional one, like minus six to attack rolls and. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and concentration saves, no? Okay. Uh, I think it was that attack rolls and saves for concentrating. Wait, where? The note over here, right? Uh, yeah, you can put a note like next to the enemies if you want. Okay. That would be helpful. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, yeah. By the way, everyone inside the Dim light sphere I have has three temporary hit points at least. Wow. Three. Yeah, that's fine. We have, we have, we have temporary HP from thingy. The feast uh, thingy. No, that's not, no, that's temp not temporary. That's max HP. Max HP. This one is temp. In the feast? That was what? That max. Was... That was oh, max HP. okay. Yeah. So we can still add temporary HP. Yep. So we got aid and we got. What do you call it? Feast. We got 8 and Feast. Okay, so that's 28 HP modifier and then 3 temp HP. Exactly. Okay, got it. Thanks. Perfect, ah, perfect. So good, Thank so you. good. Exactly. So good, right? Okay. And then, 
uh, for my bonus action, I will... By the way, I have my wings on already, okay? So I'm, like, up in the air and stuff. So uh, for my bonus action, I will... I will cast all three Eldritch Blast... Uh, no, wait, no. Not, uh... Yeah, I'll cast all three Eldritch Blasts on uh, Alcaras. You're blessed, by the way. Nice. Okay, uh, so what I understood was you used your Quicken spell to do Synaptic, and now you're Eldritch Blasting. Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I will roll my 3d pens, and this is uh, this is all with Bless, right? Yeah, it's all with bless, and well, after doing synaptic static, you are seen now, so yeah, you don't get advantage on any of these attacks, but for Alcaras, you get disadvantage because of okay. the shield. Yeah. There is something oh, wrong with the right? Oh, Sorry, dear, but... dude. And then I will add my uh, blessed. Okay, Three, go two, ahead. Three. D4. Okay, so I'll get the lowest one. Oh wait, this is the blessed also a disadvantage link? How does that work? No? Wait, Ralph, why did you roll 3d10 twice? Because you said with I have disadvantage on the beams. Only against Alcaras. For everyone else, it's a normal roll. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, all That's the 3beams are going to him. Oh, all of it's going to him. Okay, yeah. my bad. Okay. So wait, that also this is... Said... This is a D10. This is my mistake. Hold on, I'll roll it again. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was wondering why is it D10. Yeah. Sorry, right, guys. There's something wrong with Fred, but like, I don't yeah, get it. Yeah, I don't understand. Also, like I also checked the dashboard. It's like kids' dashboard. It's like oh, something wrong is happening at all. I don't know, man. I okay, guess, uh... so your rolls are ten, four, and three. <laughs> And then the D4s, are they also with disadvantage or no? Just roll no, just the just the D20s. So okay, the D4s, so that's, yeah, that's it's just there. That's 13, 7, and 7. And then I have plus 10. So that's a 23 hit. 23 against Alcaros, no? Hmm. He... It's not surprised, so he has a reaction to use shield. Okay. So, yeah, he casted shield in order to not get hit by anything, because 23 is your highest, no? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That sounds about right. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, I am... I have my wings on. I will fly my full movement, so I will be like 30 feet up in the air. You are 30 feet up in the air. All right. Let's put a note underneath your thing there. 30 feet. Air. Okay. That was a good turn. Like, despite the fact that you missed all your Eldritch Blasts, because, like, they're going to have a hard time attacking now. Okay. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Rico? Yes, that's the anime thing. Got it. All right, next up are the Hobgobbles. So, yeah, they kind of register that somebody is attacking their dudes over there. So, from all the way over there, they're going to be able to cast some of their really long-range spells. So, here we go. Uh, let's see how far away are they exactly. So that... I have an idea here. Oh. 170 feet. Yeah, they're gonna oh. have to go a bit closer. <laughs> Just a little bit. So let's start with this guy. 5, 10, 15. Oh, whoever gets that. Oh, I'm concentrating. Yeah, you are concentrating, aren't you? Gotta put that. You gotta put that. Okay, so the only spell that's gonna reach for this dude is um, Ice Storm. Oh, fuck so, my life. Okay, with his fourth level spell slot, he's going to be casting Ice Storm over there. And I guess can, I, the can I yeah. use the counter spell scroll on that, or is, is he too far? Counter spell only goes up to 60 feet, so. Oh, okay. no. yep. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so Ice Storm. Ice Storm has a range of 300 feet, 
no wonder why some people pick the spell. Alright, 20 foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder, so it will even catch you, Raph, because of how high it is. Oh, damn. So, shit, everyone there has to save, but luckily Fiona's giving everyone plus 3 to their save, so everybody... We also make... have... Well, bless, right? Bless works on that, right? Yeah, okay. bless works with that. What's plus 3 everybody to save in... from? Uh, that's from Fiona. She's giving everyone her aura. What do you call this? Yeah, mm -hmm. her aura of courage. Protection. Ah, co protection. protection. Yeah. Aura yeah. of protection. So that's plus three, and then. then well, that's not. Good. That's all I have actually. <laughs> yeah, you have plus. Dexterity, right? It's dexterity. Dexterity. Yeah, it's dexterity. Okay, and since it. you have your mantle on, Ooh, or nice. your robe, yeah. it's you advantage. have advantage. Yeah. So oh, that's plus S A one D four. So twenty minus twenty three boys. Twenty three. Twenty three. This is yeah. a deck save, right? So yeah, deck yes. save. Yeah. It's a deck save. And this is plus three plus D four. Okay. Don't they roll the right. thirty? <laughs> Don't they roll the yeah, well, there you go. Oh my god, dude. I'd be surprised if you're not rolling turnies. <laughs> my goodness. What kind of fucking save is that, dude? So yeah, of course you save. Um, What about everyone else? What's your rules? So if you have nothing else... I got... I got 13. Okay, 17. 13 fails, 17 passes. Oh, you got... is 15. Okay. Yeah, for this guy it's 15, for the others it's a bit lower. So, nice. okay. Uh, let's see. Who else? Oh yeah, I have to roll for Ulf. It's not that dexterous, but that will pass, yeah. Okay, so Ulf passes, thanks to Fiona. Pass. Okay. So, to the ones who failed, this is how much damage you take. i read the spell again. 2d8 plus 4d6. Okay. Ah, damn, for real? Does anyone resist bludgeoning or cold damage at all? Nope. Um, oh, Dante's fire, fire shield, shield yeah. Yeah, I chose the warm shield, so let me check if... If I'm resistant. But continue, please. Alright. Plus 2d8. Alrighty, 21 damage. Oof. And I have that, right? Yeah, you have that if you passed. Okay. So, uh, no Warm Shield there. grants me resistance to cold damage. Nice. So you take half of the cold. Cold is 4d6, so hold on. So it's half and half, so you get 5 damage? Uh, because some of it is bludgeoning, you see, yeah. so... Ah, the, the hail. Well, I, take, I take all of it, because I'm not resistant to those. Oh no, where did I roll? Did I roll in con... Just I half it, I rolled yeah. in... Bot commands. Ooh, that was a mistake. Okay. Wait, I, ha I also have three extra temp HP from Fender, right? Yeah, three. Yep. Yeah, three oh. extra. Uh, temporary HP, get three. And it refreshes every start of your turn. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're inside the circle. There's a lot of okay. circles going on right now, but... Six somewhere. plus two... The biggest okay. circle. Fourteen. So ah, yeah, fourteen circle. halved is seven, and then seven plus seven. Yeah, you took fourteen damage, Dante, Taken. because of your cold shield. There you go. Okay. So we managed to take care of that. Okay, Fiona failed, so she takes the full damage, 21. And Ulf takes half of this because he passed, so that's just 10. Cool. But he's resistant, that's right, so 5. There you go. Okay, there you go. And the area right now is difficult terrain for everybody, even ah. for Yuriko. That's yeah. annoying. Got it. Yeah. Okay, and that is the end of his turn. So for the rest, they're also just going to be staying where they are and casting that 
spell again because it's the only spell that can reach right now. So everybody make deck saves twice. We still have true sight, no? Yeah, yeah. I, have okay. I have true sight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have consecrate, but I, I can't fail that. <laughs> so, My goodness, dude. Fiona's not having a good time. Uh, 23 again for me. Oh, wait, no. Probably higher this time, but I passed. Alright. For these uh, two, their DC is 13 only. Okay. 28. Wow. Ooh. You guys are blessed, nice. don't forget. Yep. Yep, yep. 27. Yep. What? Can I feel These my rolls are good. Your dex rolls are great, dude. Nice. Not failed, and then this one. So I still, I'm still concentrating on bless. Yeah, unfortunately, your allies don't have plus, so they're just flat rolling the stuff. My allies, I mean, my NPCs. <laughs> Come on, dude. They've been helping you out. I wasn't there, Link. I wasn't there. <laughs> I know. Oh, plus two, plus three. Okay, that's a pass for Ulf. That's a fail for Ulf. Okay. One pass, one fail for him. It's a good thing he's resistant to this stuff. Oh, I have to roll twice more. Ah, okay. Let me roll for another one. What's that? Yeah, How big yeah. is the circle, DM? The circle? It's 20 foot. It's starting from the center okay, space. I passed. So I that's passed like both. Rico space. God. I passed both of them. You passed both of them. Nice. Not bad at all. Pass fail for okay. him. 20 foot? Yeah. It's about 20 foot ish. Radius? So yeah, that's difficult terrain for you all. So it's a 20 foot radius and 40 feet high cylinder. Got so it. even Rico is affected by this right now. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So with that, that's the end of their thing, but I have to roll damage. So I'll roll the ice damage separately from the other damage so that you can easily half it. So this is for the ice damage, everybody, 33. So half of that is like 16 for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the first one? First one? The first one is... Oh, was... Sorry, no. I should do this one by one, actually. Yeah, yeah you should. Yeah, you should. plus... Oh, wait. I have to roll for the second one to NC. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, so, um, you call this Dante, you take half of 13. Okay. Yeah, and if you pass, you take half of that too. Okay, oh, okay. 13. I take three damage. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Link. Three damage for Alf as well. Yeah, what's Link. up? Thanks to my shield mastery, since I passed the two deck saves, I got no damage at all. <laughs> nice. That's so good. Hey, okay. Hey, hey. The right? Yeah. It's a reaction, no? Or It's a passive ability. It's a passive ability for shield mastery. As long as uh, I have a shield. Yeah, so... No, 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 wait. I think you have to use a reaction to interpose your shield, Ralph. Yeah. Can you double yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, double check one. Shield master. 46. So this is the other instance of cold damage. 11. If you so are, you can use... Ah, yeah, it's reaction. That. So you can only save one. 11 halved and then halved again. Yeah. So 11, 11 halved and then halved again since you passed twice. So two damage. Yeah. Taken. I wait. I haven't been using my temp, so I'll use my. Okay. Alright. So, Fiona takes 6 damage at first, 7, then... Okay, everyone's last bless. And then passes on top, or now fails on top, 11, 38. Okay. And then now I'm gonna roll the bludgeoning damage, 48 total. I don't think anyone resists the bludgeoning damage, so... Ah, okay, they're still bludgeoning. Oof. Okay, that's very small. 10. It's fine. 
But I have to activate password. No. Okay, so six, let's go into B3, 4D1. Four, 45, 1, 3, 16, 4, 20. Okay. Everyone good on their damage there, because that's the end of these artillery men's turns. Um, Just blasted shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think they will go a bit closer though, so that they're in fireball range. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. That's the end of their turn. Alright, next after the hobs are the Baylor. So the Baylor is aware of this threat right now. And yeah, it's gonna be charging right up in your business. So who's the first person he sees? He sees Fatal first, yeah, you're right up in the middle. Yep. Fight. Okay, with his eighty feet of flying speed. <laughs> Let's see how far he can go from here. A hundred feet away from you. Okay, I'll close the gap about here. Shoop! <laughs> How far away is this from you? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, Kinda 30. Whip and watch me nae, -nae. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, one more space there. There you go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So he's going to whip you. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Just roll, roll badly the same way when I throw a Baylor at you guys. That Baylor couldn't hit. I know, right? That is... Okay, I'm pretty sure this one will hit. That is 27 to hit. Twenty-seven okay. hits, right? <laughs> okay, there you what? How much? Twenty-seven? So... Yeah. Two seven. Oh, even if I shield, that's still gonna hit. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that is going to be... Well, you, first of all, you get pulled 25... Oh, no, wait. Make a DC 20 strength save. DC you 20 can... strength save. Yeah, you can resist this DI. Okay. Uh, wait. Let's see. Oh, I don't think I can... Uh, if I... Oh, if I get all of it. So 13 oh! plus 4 plus 3. Plus 3? From oh, yeah, that's right. I'll yeah, from protection. Yeah, yeah, you make it, dude. So you do yeah. not get pulled. Excellent. All right. Okay, but you do take this much damage. So I'm going to round this Nalang, but I don't have to keep rolling. That's going to be 10, 15 slashing and 10 fire damage. 15 slashing and 10? Okay. Yeah, that's a total of 25. 25. Got it. Yeah. Alrighty, so there you go. And you have to make a concentration check because you're concentrating on the 25, bus. so I need 13, right? Uh, half of 25, that's 12. You need 12. I still pass. I still pass. Yeah, it still passes. Plus 3 from Fiona. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Plus right. 8 on constitution. <laughs> I know, right? Goodness. Okay, so there's that. And his longsword... Unfortunately, his longsword can't reach, yeah. That's right. That's right, mofo. Can't reach you. Okay. He'll just stay there then. I guess he attacks the ground. Or no, sorry. He attacks the barricade next to him. So that barricade's on fire right now. Just this. I know, sorry. Right. It's a lightning sword. So that that's still on fire. So I think okay. it'll create fire. <laughs> yeah, it's lightning. There you go. Okay. That's the end of the Baylor's turn. After the Baylor, mm. we have Fenrir. Fenrir, do your turn, man. Uh, I will move from here. I can move here, right? Even right. if it's diff difficult to read. Well, so that's 10, 20. And then I can get out. Uh, where are you going? I don't see your thing moving. Here. One. Here. Five, ten. Oh yeah, you can get out of there. So mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh -huh. Yeah, 5 feet left. Uh-huh. Ha ha ha. Uh, 
just okay. Uh, here in the long. And then, since I can't move anymore, I will shoot him with the uh, oh, fiend slayer bow. Yes, yeah. he is a fiend. Nice. Fire. <laughs> 27 to hit. Yeah. Oh. And then. Okay, hold on real quick because I remember this was actually something. 5, 10, 15, 20. You are within melee range of him because of his whip attack, so you'll have to attack with disadvantage. That's how it works. So I can. If I stayed here, that wouldn't me? <laughs> can he still reach me? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, he can still reach you. <laughs> The dude has a 30 foot reach with his whip, man. Shit. Oh, okay. With disadvantage. Yeah. So I'll yeah. just roll again then. Plus 11. Yeah. yeah I mean, with your plus 11, you still will probably hit. Yes, like 17 AC or something. Oh, Ooh. 14. Oh, hey, don't forget you have plus. Yeah, plus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a 50% chance of a flip coin for you to hit him. 16? Oh. Yeah, not enough. Sorry, man. That's not enough. Close. Close, close, close. Close, close, close though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a coin flip, so... Wait. Me... If you can get further four. away from his whip, then that would be ideal. Yeah, but... Extra attack. Extra attack. Yeah, I still have... Uh, I, I'm... I'm... How much was it? 3d6, right? The extra damage. I'll just add it na lang down to yeah, the roll. You can do that. You can yep. do that. So 24. 24 hit, I think. 24 could hit, right? Damage, yeah. 19 damage in my next attack. Oh, crap. I didn't save Where it. Bobby? Disadvantage. This hey, one D more. D three D six. All right. All right. Twenty five to hit fourteen damage. Oh yeah, I'll definitely hit, man. Okay, so that is fourteen damage to that. And I right. will quick toss. Okay. Uh, bonus action, throw a javelin <laughs> of lightning at him. Nice, do it. That's still with this at disadvantage. Yeah, still with disadvantage, oh, unfortunately. Oh, 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 oh. attacks when you're within me. Oh, yes! 28 <laughs> to hit. 28. You're, just yeah. you're just shrugging off the disadvantage, what the hell, man? <laughs> okay, that's not bad. 28. Okay, lightning. See real Ooh, quick. That is that's still with uh 1d10 because of that's a superiority die. Plus five uh, damage. Okay. Plus five damage. Okay. So half of your lightning because you see that he is indeed resistant. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Which is good information for fatal. So fifteen halved, that's seven. So minus seven to your damage, twenty-one. Plus 5, 26. 26 damage for one javelin. That is not bad. Okay, that brings it to 50, 70 damage. Oof. That was not nice for him. He still oh. looks barely injured, though. I'll end my turn. Nice. Okay. Um, Ken is out right now because he's making the dog get out. Okay. <laughs> making the dog get out right after the dog's turn. Alright, <sighs> next up is the orc. Oh, I shouldn't put orcs. It's just orc. One orky boy. So this orky boy, he sees what's going on. And he is going to bonus action aggressive to get up close. Five. You know what? I'll use the measuring tool for this. This is why the measuring tool is so nice. 60 feet, okay. Out there. Okay, and then with that, whoever can hear or see him will start to have 
So he's kind of like making a war cry, basically. You know, like how in Warcraft 3 they go, so he's doing that right now. And every one of the people around him, including the ones really far away who can hear him, they have advantage on attack rolls now. Yeah. yeah. And I believe that is his action. He doesn't have anything else he can do, can he? Let's see. Dark War Chief, page 246. That's an action to do, isn't it? Yeah, it's an action. Within, oh no, within 30 feet of him only. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That won't reach Alcaraz. So it's just him and the Baylor then. Okay. There you go. It's a good thing I double checked. So Baylor has advantage, and so does the War Chief. That is the end of his turn. Fiona's turn. So Fiona. Fiona is still looking barely injured. Maybe not for long, but she sees her objective, and she's shouting out to Alcaraz, Alcaraz, it's me! Trying to draw attention to him right now, and as she says that, she's gonna try to get closer to him. So, 5'10", 15'20", 25, 30. Oof, this difficult terrain is really bad for you guys, actually. Okay, hold on, she'll try to assist you guys. So what can, what can she do? What can she do here? <sighs> hmm. Yeah, you know what, she'll try to keep herself alive so that she can get her objective done. So she's going to spend 35 of her lay on hands on herself to heal up. She's Almost basically back to full, and then seeing that Fatal is being attacked by this Baylor, she will cast Sanctuary on you. So, Fatal, you have what? Sanctuary. What? Yeah. I'm gonna attack someone, fuck! Is <laughs> it your turn next? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm the last one, I still have it in my turn. Oh. Well, I mean, there's, she doesn't know about this whole meta yeah, shit, so she doesn't, she doesn't know anyway. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah, okay, so that was the end of her turn. That's as much as she can do right now. She's just healing people up. Alright. Um, 9 times 5 is 45, so she has 10 HP that she can heal with lay on hands left. Okay. Alright, that's the end of her turn. Next up, we have... Dante, go Dante. Okay, hang on, lots of shit. So first, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, we don't like the storm sphere. So Dante is going to point at all of the the people still inside, and then he will mutter an incantation under his breath you guys see oh, like dante is like covered in the shadows that uh, wreathe around his body and his cloak right but earlier when he casted fire shield white flames whoosh, will yeah. start to cover him and shed dim light <sighs> everywhere and then he looks at all of you and he mutters the incantation uh, as he points to each one, Abuag og alipad sai, and the flames will emerge from him, and they will engulf all of you, and you all teleport. Nice. Uh, in oh, different shit. locations cool. as he casts scatter on everyone. Okay. Um, Send me to those. Lovely spell, goodness me. I love scatter yeah. so much. Uh, I can move you guys up to one twenty feet in different places. So. Send me uh, towards those fucking mage shit. <laughs> I want to oh kill those things. Shit. <laughs> and all the way south? Yeah, all the way. Just let me, let me, let me, let me go at them. Sure, <laughs> sure. So from Fatal is going to move all the way 120 
I can get you. I'm going to put you on top of this, like... It looks like a, I think it's like a stage in the middle of the battlefield. Yeah, that so one, yeah, that one. Fatal, fatal, you get engulfed oh. by this white flame and shadows, and then whoosh, you find yourself, boom, there in the, in this oh, area oh, over shit. here. And the lightning eyes, I look at them. I'm coming for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. And yeah, then, let's go, dude. Let's this go. Is so badass. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, let's go. Ulf, I'll say, man. Ulf is also going to teleport somewhere near there because his target is that this guy over here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to help him out. Uh, so that's 520, 120. You can Remind me of the spell from the DM. This is a fucked up spell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a great spell, man. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Situation. That's what I mean. Look at this. It's Ulf fucked up is like over this, there. Rico wants to be in the air, I'm sure, so I'll put him somewhere. Him, and... uh, put me somewhere where I can hit both the Baylor and Alcaraz with an attack. Maybe here. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking somewhere there, too. So, And you're in the air, so you teleport there. Um, Fiona... Is I want Fiona to be uh, on the ground, but around that area as well. So maybe like here. Okay. Uh, and then Dante will teleport. Uh, he's the last one to teleport. He'll teleport right behind Alcaraz. Nice. Oh. And then from the shadows and like white fire, Dante will emerge and whisper in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, he whispers in his ear. So after that, he did. So that is his spell. Hang on, how that shatter. I scatter, yeah, I mean. Shatter. And then a free action DM. I will okay. speak a command word. Uh, actually, no, I'll do that later. I'll bonus action blade song so at, like from the teleportation though the white f the white flame and the shadows um from behind alcaraz he just hears dante's blade song and then uh i mutter the command word for my contingency for blink and mm -hmm. i say Unta makabisita ako sa langit ngon nga dominio. And then... Nice! That is... <laughs> Fucking nice! <laughs> that is dope, dude! If I could give you more inspiration, but I can't. Yeah! <laughs> so there you go. Blade <laughs> song. Scatter. Blink is up. And I will end my turn. I will roll blink. Okay. Six. I do not. I just stay there. Oh. <laughs> cool. oh there you go. That is my turn, Dion. That was an excellent turn, dude. Good yes, job, ones. good job. Thanks. Some good shit right there. All right, next up is Ulf. Ulf from your scatter says, thanks for that, Dante. I remember this. And then he is going to take an action. So uh, Dante and Rico, for the first time, you kind of see in the corner of your eyes that Ulf looks like his body is like grossly shifting. Oh, he's ew. shape shifting right now. Ah, and ew. you see, <laughs> you see now his true form. Oh my God! What the fuck's happening exactly? What? Oh, it's a what is that? What is that thing? He's a giant. Were -rat? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Is he a werewolf? What the fuck? I love how confused everyone is right That's now. a were-rat, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like a were -rat. It is a were-rat. That's a were-rat, right? I just telepathically asked Dante what kind of rat bit him to make him like that. <laughs> oh my god. It must right, have been a big then, one. <laughs> Alright, and then with his speed, uh, he's got 40 feet of speed now. Go all the way here. Okay, he appears here. Psh. Oh, yeah. And then all of the hobgoblins are so shocked. They're like, they're, it's like they're seeing the Baba Yaga right now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that is very much the vibe right now. So they focused all of their attention away from you guys to just mm -hmm. him right now. Their body posture, their face, everything is just on him right now. 
Alright, so that's the end of his turn because he had to use an action to do that. Alright, next up is Alcaras. Okay. So Alcaras, uh, he is a bit dazed right now from the synaptic static, and then like he has a dude who's just whispering right behind his ear. And he's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like beatboxing dot step, you know, and tribal <laughs> music all at the same time. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty radical, bro. Radical music. <laughs> yeah, before he turns to face Dante, though, he looks at um, Fiona and he says, Fiona, get out of here. This fight is not yours. Then turns his attention to Dante mm. and tries to. He'll try. He'll try to strike you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he'll try. <laughs> Minus d6 to all of those rolls. I know, right? Uh, okay, hold on. I don't what have do mirror image up set? yet. Yeah. Yeah, understood. But think about this for a sec. He sees that. What does he see? And he looks at Dante, like, just uh, from a visual Yeah, shadow, like, shadows, and then white flame mixed all, and then, uh, he's, like, his form is, like, shifting, like, kanang, I don't know, like, about to go to the ethereal <laughs> plane, you know, so there's, like, some overlap with on his body, uh, mm -hmm. so there. Uh, the mirror images aren't up, though, but that's what he sees. Okay, well... He dispelled? <laughs> he, no, he's not sure whether he wants to do that. He knows what you're capable of, so mm. he thinks, well, fuck it, I'm just gonna fucking attack this guy. <laughs> Here we go. Go. So, With disadvantage? Yeah, he'll try. He'll just try, man. So first of all, he will spend a third level spell slot to cast Blinding Smite. So you might oh. want to counter spell that if you wish, but yeah, blinding you. smite. That can blind you. I mean, I don't know, man, but sounds like it blind you. I can't <laughs> shoot shit. Sounds like I mean, you don't thing. know what spell he's casting, but you hear him muttering something. I don't. So, yeah. I don't counter spell. Oh, big, oh. big balls move. <laughs> big balls move. Big dickers. Right. Biggest dickers. All right, and then he tries to swing at you with disadvantage. His plus to hit is not too terrible, though. Hopefully he doesn't roll so bad. Okay. Well, we hope he rolls bad. What the fuck, Link? <laughs> I mean, I don't. So oh, he yeah. has three attacks. Here we yeah. go. That is a total of 24. I think you're going to want to shield that. Minus yeah. six? Uh... I mean, did minus d6 hurt? Yeah, what's a minus oh, d6? Oh yeah, minus d6. Yeah, okay, but for this lap Thanks for the reminder. Nope. Oh, that's caught. Minus 4, so that brings it to 24. Miss. 22, rather. Okay. Yes. Wait, what did he roll? He rolled 20... Oh, sorry, 24. Minus yeah. what? For 20. Yeah. yeah, so that's oh, a miss. That's a miss. My AC is 21. AC... Nice, okay. Uh -huh. Then second attack. Uh. Oh, natural one. Don't need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. uh. That's another natural one! Yeah, Nine. boy! Dante's just <laughs> dodging. <laughs> yeah, with no, very little hitting, effort. He's hitting you, but then it, just goes through. it turns out to be... Yeah, <laughs> it turns out to be your displacer thing. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. well, shit. All right, and he's also concentrating on his blinding smite right now. So Indeed. yeah, not not a good place to be in right now. He has to make an int save to get rid of synaptic now. Yeah, so. yeah. Fail again, okay. please. Okay, he's not the most intelligent guy. Here we go. No, that's a fail. He is still <laughs> muddled thoughts right now. Nice and. Yeah, like, he really has muddled thoughts right now. He didn't expect to see Fiona here, so yeah. And he didn't expect Dante to be there. And why the hell is everyone else everywhere else? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Dude, there's what a spell, that, it's dude? called Scatter. Guys, 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 we're gonna get reported for hacks. You gotta chill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next up is Fatal. Oh, oh so cool. This 
teleport Inter on this stage. Uh, right? <laughs> Freaking I rock know. music playing now. You yeah. know what the you know the meme where the doom you where the doom music hits. Yeah. So what's gonna happen now is that uh they got shocked, the Hogoblins got shocked with that form of like yeah. oh they got off and then Fate told his mothers, you don't know the real monsters right here. And Ooh. chain lightnings the three of them. Ooh. Oh shit. Let's go. Yeah, that looks like this one. Oh, Let's the music's go. playing now. It's kind of playing in a way. Yeah, it's kind of like, playing. on now. and off. Anyway. Oh, it's weird. I'm not, I don't feel like rolling tonight, so I'm just gonna destructive wrap that because I really want it to. <laughs> of course you do. Okay. Uh, so that would be, um, what level spell slot? I think six level, right? Because it doesn't scale, actually. It scales, but it increases yeah, the target. targets. Yeah, no, I only need three, so that's just already three. A normal six level, I think. Okay. Chain lightning is a target. Uh, let me have a look. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, to our target, three bolts then live from that target. So technically, it's four, but I just threw them, so just level six. Okay. So I'll cast that. That is 10 D8, so 80 damage with destructive wrath. 80 damage. <laughs> okay, so with that, uh, how do you want to kill these two mooks? Crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, that probably one can survive. I like that. <laughs> oh, well, technically, there has this blow <laughs> with lightning. Oh, I want to see this shit. guy like, like really fast, and then like the guy just takes it, and like blinding speed, they just like their heads just pop. I know. God damn, yeah. dude. Okay. Yeah. That's my excellent channel. Excellent action. <laughs> That's my channel divinity, and then I'm not done yet because I will freaking what do you call it? Um, I will use a quicken spell. Nice. Guess I want to rush that dude. So that's two okay. sorcery points, and I will use lightning lure. Wait, let me move first. Five, ten, fifteen. I can see fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Can I reach him? Five and see. Ah, I can't reach him, but I can use fireball at him. Can I see him from your DM, right? Because, like, technically he's a teammate, yeah, yeah. so I can see through, kind of through him, like, in the side, right? I'm I just mean, gonna use... Even without that, you can kind of, like, see him on the side there, so okay. no worries. Got it, yeah. got it. Um, mm -hmm, what should I do? Should I just fireball him, be classic? I just fireball him. I fireball him. 1d20 plus... How much is the sorcerer? Plus 11. Thank you, Robe. 22, does that hit? 22 to hit, that'll hit. Nice, okay. I will 3d10 damage. 3d10. 12 points of fire damage. 12 points, oof. Still um, alive? Is he a badass? He's still alive, but he's oh, looking nice. near okay. death. Because I actually want the were rat to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's never that's my turn. There you go. Okay, and then he, the uh, Ulf looks at your at how much damage you did, and he's like, "Thanks for making it." I just, a I just easier. give him a thumbs up, and I'm just gonna, and I turn back to Mister Dark Knight because I know he can already kill that guy anyway, or I don't fucking know what he wants to do with him. But that is a goner. Yeah, that is a goner, man. <laughs> he's so dead by the next turn. Yeah. All yeah. right, but he can still cast a spell, sadly. But that's the end of my turn. Yeah. I mean, unless Rico can somehow kill him from all the way there. All right, so... Oh, yeah, that's also that. We'll see. All right, so next up we have Rico. Rico, what do you do? Nice. From here, I believe I can do this. Let me double check. 60 feet. Let me measure and see. Do I get him here? Yeah. Do I get Baylor? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to spend six sorcery points so I can cast Mental Prison on Alcaraz and the Baylor. What? Ooh, six sorcery points, man. She. Yeah. I'm twin spelling hey, this on both of them. All right. So they have to make intelligence saving throw? Yes, an intelligence saving throw. And... Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Or no, wait, he failed the eye for his muddled thoughts. Okay, yeah. All right. So, uh, they have to make intelligence. Oh, wait. Before that, I'm casting Hexblade's Curse on the Baylor. Okay. Baylor. That's a smart idea. Go ahead. Here we go. So, Blackguard. 
This is a spell, so he has an advantage on this. Oh my goodness, even with advantage, dude, four. Uh, that won't work. Oh shit. Uh, huh? What about Baylor? No, no, like he, he failed, so don't worry oh, about Oh, Baylor that. failed. Shit. No, no, okay. no Alcaraz failed. Alcaraz failed. Baylor. Baylor, oh. we shall find out. So he has plus five. To he has advantage. The Baylor has advantage. Doesn't. Yes, he does, and that is 22, so yeah, that passes. Okay, so Baylor just gets 5d10 damage, that's 36 psychic damage, so half of... That's... wait, no way. Uh, the targets... yeah, he gets 36 damage and the spell ends, that's like on a successful save. Understood. Yeah, it's not even half, that's okay. it. And then, for... For the for Alteras, what happens is he also gets 36 points of psych damage and he sees a hallucination. He is surrounded by hallucinations of Abdiel pointing his swords at him. <laughs> and here's the thing. If he moves out of his position, something will happen. So, yeah. Mm. That's why. Hopefully wow. the images will provoke him <laughs> dude i wish i could give you inspiration again you guys are so on point today love it okay yeah. oh, dude we did right. not I come to play the very end. specific role <laughs> like it's not that hard for me to be on point <laughs> no i know i understand so, just be okay. metal as fuck bro <laughs> <laughs> all and, right uh, so that was an excellent action what else do you do uh, Baylor, he gets 36 plus 5, so he gets 41 because of Hexblade, and ah, okay. yeah, uh, okay. take note if Mr. Uh, Alcaraz will move out of his spot. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so you can't see anything right now until he does something, no? Yeah. Okay, understood. Okay, that was an excellent turn, man. Um, I... I what mentally, I mentally, I just tried to mentally tell Dante it would be a lot helpful if you tried to shove him out of his standing spot. I think it has to be willingly. Willingly, move, right? I think. Oh. I really? Oh, okay. Yeah, usually those have spells. Yeah, usually it's willingly move. Okay. It's like booming blade. Oh no! Yeah. It says here in the writing: if the target is moved out of the illusion. Makes ah. a melee attack through it or reaches any part of its body through it, the target. Ah, yeah, mm -hmm. and he's restrained right yeah. now for the spell's duration. Okay. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Let me add notes, he's restrained. Yeah, he's restrained, and if someone shoves him, then yeah. That's gonna hurt 10d10 psychic. That's 100 damage potential. Dang. Alright. <laughs> Dude, you're really f screwing this guy over. Yeah. I'm glad that you're having fun with that. <laughs> I am having fun. <laughs> All right. Good uh, job, Rico. I'm going to move, uh, well, just a bit over here. OK. Uh, bonus actions at all? Maybe you want to convert some sorcery points or something? Uh, no, yeah, I used my bonus action to cast sex blades first, so I'm done. Oh, you're right. OK. Done, done, done. Okay, this is probably this Hobgoblin's last turn. And by the way, reinforcements are coming. But okay. Yeah, like mm. it's just going to be like one creature, I think. Yeah, I made it just be one creature. Mm -hmm. So okay. the reinforcements will come into play now. And it's another artillery guy coming from here. Or no, I'll make the spawn point be the tent. So. Oh fuck, I only got rid of him already. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. These guys are pretty cheap, you know? So, okay. Yeah, they do come cheap. They do come cheap. <laughs> so, this hobgoblin looks at the two of you over there. And yeah, he ain't fucking around. So, he's going to be casting. Let's see here. <sighs> he's going to be casting Fireball at. Fourth level, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna fuck around here. The classic. Okay. Uh, where? Between the two of us? The two where at? I mean, the where at and me? Yeah. 
He actually okay. like aims it directly on all space, but then okay. he has an ability where it makes his captain not get hit. So, Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh pass blast, so yeah, not pretty much a pass that. Seventeen. Oh yeah, dude. Easy. Choo choo yeah. easy no re. Alright. Then Ulf. Ulf I think is resistant, so this is to see if he gets quarter damage. Is he magic resistant? Nah, he's not. Okay. That'd be funny. To put some wear out, get some magically resistant. Alright. Plus two. Oh, that passes. Nice. Nice. Alrighty. Okay. And then you both take 96 damage of fire. Fire. You won. <laughs> so you take 10, and Ulf takes 10 half. That's 5. Dude. This guy is like, <laughs> he's on fire. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we're on fire. Wait, so I take five damage to or ten? You take ten. Okay. I don't okay. think you're resistant to fire, right? So yeah. Uh, well, actually, I'm a hidden tiefling, so. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I pass. I was like, I'm still concentrating. Okay. Yeah. Dude, that blast is doing God's work. Like, holy shit. Yeah, dude. The fuck is go. this spell? I just realized you're not sanctuary anymore, right? Nah, 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 let me take that off. That. All well, right. technically, if you think about it, it was the lightning that did the killing, it wasn't me. Dude, come on. <laughs> 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 Alright, okay. so that was that up goblin's turn. Now it's this guy. I swear to God, this is a figure of that, I will fucking flip. Nah, he doesn't. <laughs> I will flip if he doesn't flip. <laughs> But yeah, something else that's gonna be helpful to keep him alive, maybe. So here we He's go. He's gonna fucking run away, isn't he? Uh, no. He... These guys are honorable. Like, you fought against other... Oh, what do you call this? <laughs> you fought against other hobgoblins. They don't actually run from fights. It's that an honor true. to die. Yeah, yeah it's only honor goblins that run away from fights. Hobgoblins don't. Yeah, so what's gonna happen is there will be 10, 10 by 10 um, icy panels as he casts Wall of Ice, unless nah. you can counterspell that somehow. Nah, nah I don't counterspell. So he's just yeah. being more annoying, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, with his dying breath, he's going to make that spell appear so this i need reasons. you and Ulf to make a dexterity right, so. saving throw dc 15. uh i should be able to pass that oh yeah no i just passed holy shit <laughs> Fucking nice. bless, man. alrighty okay so we can shape each panel in any form mm -hmm. The wall, is wall. Uh, Just... the wall is an object that can be breached. Okay. So the wall will appear here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I have Let's to draw, draw some that. squares, yeah. Yeah, it should be easy enough. Or you know what? I'm going to make it lines instead so that I don't yeah. have to draw so many yeah, squares. Yeah, just draw, just draw a line. That'll be easier. Yeah. Okay, but basically it's going to be encompassing the both of you in it. Okay. Go. God, this fucking uh, guy is so annoying, son of a bitch. Yeah. He be like that, you know? <laughs> ship, ship. You better fucking wish I can get out of this fucking thing. <laughs> okay, on second thought, I don't think this line over here would be there. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, you guys are kind of like encased in the walls there right now. It's, a, it's taller than me, right? The wall? Uh, the wall is 10, ten by feet? 10. Yeah, it is yeah. 10 feet, so it makes sense. Yeah. 10 by 10. And then, let me just see how high it is. Radium of 10 feet, 10 to, by 10. Yeah, it's 10 feet tall as well. Yeah, okay. So, there you go. <laughs> Someone called it blue, thank you. Yeah, I'm triggered. And then you guys take... 10 D6 cold damage. 37. Yeah, after all for all. 
Or no, wait, did I already roll from him? Ah, I'll roll for him now. That is 13, that will fail, so he takes the full 37, but he's I'll also roll. resistant to cold. So right. 13, so I have that, because I passed the deck save. Yeah, you okay. have that, so that's, is it 13? 15 plus 1, it's 16, my dude. Okay, 16 damage for half, thing. Yeah, 16, or sorry, no, 18. 18 I times did. 2 is 36, yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So right. 18 half is going to be 9 for Ulf. Dude, this guy is tanky. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah so pass, so concentrating. Done. <laughs> At 34, yeah. okay. Alright, you're still concentrating, and now you are surrounded by a wall of ice, which really shouldn't be a problem for the both of you. So, okay, just, that's the... It's trying. That's the Poor end bastard. of his turn, so yeah. Next up, we have the Baylor. So the Baylor. <laughs> hmm, who is he going to go after? We have one, two, three targets. I'm going to roll a d4. Or no, four targets. I'm going to roll a d4. One is Fenrir, two is Fiona, three is Rico, and four is Dante. All right. Facing Fenrir and Fenrir, he he did not like how much damage you did to him, so he is going to try to pull you closer with his whip. Here we go. Saves me <laughs> movement. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, and because of the orcs thing, he has advantage, which remind. Oh no, yeah, it's only him and the orc. That's right. That's an effect, right? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like an effect. Okay. Here we go. Advent. Oh, natural 20! Oh my god. Thank Here god. it comes! Alright. Okay. Uh, I'll be taking the average na lang. Or no, actually, maybe this time I'll want to roll. Or no, I'll stick to my guns. It'll be average for this one. So I have to do a bit of quick math here. 4 times 3.5. 14. And then six times three point five. Okay, so that's gonna be twenty one plus fourteen plus eight. Or no, it's ten rather. Boop. With that crit, it's going to be forty five damage in total. Okay. As you get pulled. Oh uh, no! Wait, you have to make a strength save first. Saves. That's right. It should be yeah. easy for you now. <laughs> my goodness, who's gonna be able to pull? Oh, I also crit on my save. You crit on bro, your save. Bro, you know yeah. what happens? You end up pulling him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Because of how crazy that roll is, yeah, you do actually pull him like. Five feet closer. <laughs> <laughs> because that's just so crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Fender is the kind of version of pull him, right? <laughs> oh my god. You don't pull is any of that damage uh, fire? No. Uh, yeah, so some of that damage is indeed fire. Let me tell you how much is fire. It's 21. It's sword is lightning. Yeah, it's 21 sword is lightning. damage is fire. How much? 21. That, so I have it, right? I will have it because I'm resistant to fire damage. Okay. Where where did that come from again? I uh, Frostbrand. The, the, ah! The sword. Nice. Okay. Frostbrand's freaking awesome. Okay. They take half of that. Gotcha. So that becomes, instead of 45, that's 35 total. Okay. That's really good. And then he wasn't able to pull you closer, so he is going to go close and, with advantage, try to strike you with his blade. <sighs> oh wow, that wasn't terribly. That wasn't really good, but 26? I will use my shield tattoo. You'll use your shield tattoo. How much is your AC now? 27. 
Oh, oh shit! Nice. Nice. Okay, so he misses, and he is frustrated as hell right now. Like, why can't I hit this one? Dude, that's not every bailer in that that we throw the people, man. They just got right. <laughs> it's, it's just their life, their life, my dude. Okay, right. and then a bonus action because his weapon is magical. It allows him to attack with a bonus action. Go. Oh, I think this time it hits. 11 plus 16, that's 27. Oh, that's okay, okay. Not that that just problem. hits. Okay. Alright, so that, that's going to be 21 slashing and 13 lightning. That's a total of... Uh, how much is that? 34. Is that right? Okay. And yeah, 34 damage to you. 34 plus 35. He almost dealt 70. Dang. This guy's not to be messed with. Alright, and then that is the end of his turn, and you are currently in his fire aura. So at the start of your turn... Or no, sorry, at the start of his turn, he's going to be able to do fire damage to you. So you okay. might want to get out of there. But yeah, there you go. That was not a terrible turn for the Baylor. And then now it's your turn, Fenrir. So at the end of his turn, right, that he ends in my uh, aura, mm -hmm. I can end an effect on him. Oh, is that part of Twilight Sanctuary? Yeah, I can end an effect on him and he becomes frightened. Oh. <laughs> and end an effect on him and he becomes frightened. Is Either charmed kind of or frightened. Save? But is there some kind I... of save for that? No, it, it just says... Uh, let me read it. Yeah, if you can produce that. Whenever a creature ends its turn in the sphere, you can grant the creature one of these abilities. You can either give them temporary hit points, or you end one effect on it, causing it to be charmed or frightened. Wow. One effect on it. Isn't this for allies? And one effect that is causing it to be charmed or frightened. No, but then it's... it says, yeah, it says you end one. It doesn't say ally. It just yeah, says yeah, it says you end or... one effect on it, causing it to be charmed or frightened. Uh, oh, yeah, oh. yeah but no. it's not charmed or frightened. Oh, so. uh, I misread it. Ah, uh, okay, I, okay. Yeah, I no, thought yeah. that I end an effect on it, therefore I will cause it to be charmed <laughs> or frightened. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Uh, that's oh. that's <laughs> okay. Okay. That, okay. That'd be some it, OP it. stuff, yo. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. So it's not. So it's my turn, and I just look at it and say, "Uh, what was that? Come on, you son of a bitch! Do you want to live forever?" <laughs> <laughs> and I just attack. <laughs> All right. Do it. You got both of your weapons drawn. Here we go. Blessed, by the way. Yeah. Blessed. Uh, B. 1d4. Okay. A creature that touches the Baylor or hits it with a melee attack while within five feet of it. Okay! Oh, crit! My turn to crit, crit on him! Oh, <laughs> shit! Yeah. 36 to hit. Okay, so 27 damage. 27 damage. Not bad. Okay, hold on. Um, the cold damage is amounting to 6, yeah? Yeah. That will be half, so 3 oh, okay. minus 3, that'll be 24. Okay, that's still not terrible. 24. What okay. action would it be to switch my weapon? <laughs> um, what action? Uh, what's I can do that on the next turn. I'll, I'll do it on the next turn. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, 27 to hit. 27 to hit. 13 damage. Alright. The cold damage is 3, so half uh, is half 1. It's so 1. 11, 12. Yeah. That'll be 11 damage. Total 11 damage on that. I'm, just, I'm gonna use my calculator for this. <laughs> okay. 
25 to hit. 17 damage, three of which is cooled. Three is cold, that will be minus two, 15. By the way, um, Fenrir, you notice that every time you hit this creature with an attack, you are taking fire damage in return. Mm. Yeah. Um, for each hit, that's going to be 10 fire damage. So if you want to retract any to retreat, then I'll let you do that. But so far, you've taken 30 fire damage just from attacking him. Yeah, that's half, so 15. Yeah, that's 15. There you go. Yeah. All right. But, um, if I move back, right, that mm. would mean that uh, he takes opportunity attack. If you leave his 10 foot reach, yes. So you have kind of like room to move around him in 10 feet. So you can move back a little bit. Yeah, okay, okay. So uh, I will do that after I attack for the last time. With your fire! Try to turn around towards our side so that... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I need to teleport you out, I can reach you. Okay. Yeah. 21 to hit. Lermos. 21 oh, yeah. damage. 21 to hit, he is immune to fire, so minus oh, 8, that will be, uh, minus Two. 8 is 7, 13, okay, not I have bad. to check how 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My goodness, he's at 174 damage. Dude! Fuck! So powerful! Okay. At so 174, there. he is looking injured now. Injured was at like 50% of his life. So yeah, he's looking injured right now. Okay, and you stay within there, no? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, you're looking good. And he's looking not so good. All right. That's the end of your turn. Um... Is that the end of your turn? Yes, that's the end of my turn. All right, excellent turn, man. The gauntlet, your claws, like showing its true might right now. You're standing <laughs> toe to toe against the Baylor. You pulled him to you, not not, <laughs> not the other way around. Goddamn. Okay. Uh, next up is the Orky. The Orky is still not looking so good. So he is going to be heading towards Fiona, the closest creature he can see. 5, 10... And also because she's an elf, that's right. 15, 20, 25, 30, bonus what action a, What a fucking racist, man, Jesus. They are... like that, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they are I know. odds with each other. <laughs> I know, but well, dude, come on, man. It's, it's what, what, what year is it? What year is it? <laughs> I know, you, right? can blame, you can blame Corallon and Groom. <laughs> it's their yeah, fault. You, you can blame those two. It's their fault. <laughs> come on, man. It's like freaking what year is it in this world? Like, come on. We're over that. Sorry, man. They're not over it. <laughs> All right. So, Orc War Chief with his. He doesn't have a really high to hit, actually. It's not so good. Okay, here we go. But Fiona has 20 AC at this point. Oh, okay, that will hit. Let's see how much damage. 15 to her, so back to 25. All right. And next up, does he have another attack? Two attacks. Okay. That's gonna be 15 plus that much. Yeah, that'll hit. Another 15 damage taken. She's at 40 life. Get away from her. Alright. That was not a bad turn for the Orc Chief. Okay, and he will end his turn there. He's trying to great axe Fiona, not letting him, not letting her get anywhere near his lieutenant, who is also an elf, but you know. So there you go. All right. Oh, I remembered something. I have to roll minus six, so I will actually redo all that. Raf, you gotta remind me for the D6 yeah. to attack rolls every time. I yeah. missed that as well. I'll redo that. 
Minus six. Oh my goodness. Eleven plus seven. That will miss. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, dude. Your thing is working so well. I keep rolling six. Nice. Okay. Thirteen plus seven. Twenty. Okay, no, that time that one will hit. Okay. Okay, so twenty-five damage only. There you go. You made it reduce one piece of damage. Okay. Yeah. That's an optic static really coming handy, man. And it's, then um, he's going to make his insane. Oh my god, nope. He's still muddled thoughts. So yeah, he's just focusing on the one thing that he can focus on, which is kill the elves. Wow. All right. All right, so that's the orc's turn. Fiona. Fiona's not even bothering with this guy right now. Oh. She just wants to go to Alcaras. And I just remembered something. She's a wood elf, so she has 35 speed. Five, ten. She'll take the opportunity attack. She doesn't oh. care. Fourteen minus five. <laughs> nah, dude. She, he doesn't hit. <laughs> that model pot's really coming in handy, dude. Dang. Alrighty. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and thirty-five. So she finally gets to Alcaras, and she says, "Hopefully, this will snap you out of your stupor." And she reaches out her hand. And she's casting Remove Curse on him. Oh. Yeah. And as she does, Alcaras, he's restrained right now. He's got muddled thoughts. He's really not in the mind right place right now. He's also seeing Abdiel, the angel that he killed uh -huh. in front of everyone's eyes. And uh, right now, he's he was like showing struggle. But after he got his... Uh, after, like, um, Fiona touched him, he suddenly, like, is, he lost his strength. He's just standing still right now. He's not moving. And um, Dante, you're close enough to see his expression has changed from angry and struggling to get you all killed to just a stone face of, like, what? Mm. Is it somewhat uh, reminiscent to when Dante snapped out of his uh, charm? It looks similar, but it's a different kind of thing. It's uh, you'll see in a while, but basically it looks similar. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, when we get to his turn, then we'll see what that's all about. Got but it. yeah, Fiona was able to do that, <clears throat> and then. Dante uh, tells yeah, him not to move. <laughs> <laughs> Dante tells him not to move. Don't move or okay. it'll hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, he heard you say that. Um, but he's not, he doesn't seem to be focusing on anything outside mm. of himself right now. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, Fiona, does she have a bonus action she can do? Nah, she casted a spell. Nope, that's it. All right, Dante, your turn. So that's what you saw. Uh, Up to you what you'll do, man. You have an opportunity to say something to him right now, though, as a free action. Um, nope, Dante's not gonna get into that. <laughs> that's okay. between him and Fiona. But let's see. Fenrir's over there. I think Fenrir's got that. Oh, I should erase this ice over here. We don't need that. No yeah. More. Um. And then is there in ice over there. Uh, Dante is gonna try to make his way south a bit. Let me see: okay. five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. And then try to figure out what I can do with this. It's a wall of ice, correct? Yes, it's a wall of ice. Uh, good job, Jack. What level is that spell? Yeah, I'll say that you're high enough level to know and recognize. <laughs> this is a six-level spell. Six-level, crazy. Okay. 
Uh, spellcasting ability. Uh, sure, Dante's gonna... He doesn't even need to move. He just looks over at uh, Fatal and Ulf and the Wall of Ice around. And Dante just points and then he says like melt <laughs> there's no need <laughs> there's no need for that and I cast dispel magic at fifth level so i still need to wait when you cast a spell using so you automatically end the effects of spell target if the level is equal ah no there's Pretty no sure need don't want to yeah, cast yeah. It on third level yeah 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 one. i thought that <laughs> the, the yeah like the 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 modifier will increase if i upcast it so just third level so I need to make a ability check with my spell casting ability. So that is basically an intelligence check. Is that correct? It'll be an intelligence check, yeah. And the DC will be 16 because 10 plus 6 because it's 6th level. Uh -huh. Ah, that's how it works. Yeah, uh, it should be really easy for you. I get... It's a 50% chance. Do I get a bonus form though, bless from this? No, this is an ability check. If you had a uh, guidance, that would be helpful. Uh, uh, do you want to use an inspiration for this? This yes. might be the time. Yes, okay. I will do that. ADV. Yeah. Uh, no 1d4, so just intelligence. 20? So looking, hey. o yeah, looking over at Fatal. And this is like within the course of like six seconds, right? So yeah. the ice, yeah, the ice goes up, and then Dante looks over. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Just, just as the ice walls like rise up and like f get frozen, they just immediately melt and thaw away. And then the the tiefling <laughs> over here is like, what? What is happening? And then he looks over <laughs> past. Oh, no, he's a hobgoblin. Oh, he looks. <laughs> yes, hobgoblin. He looks past Ulf and Fatal, and he sees Dante like mutter muttering the counter uh, the the dispel magic uh, at him. And then uh, that's it, Dante. <laughs> nice. Dante like just ignores him again. <laughs> Oh, dude. So that is my action is the spell magic. Uh, Wait, I just want to ask, why aren't we? Why are we doing Tentacle Dark Knight? Uh, because... <laughs> you, you literally did not see what happened, Fatal. So as far as you're concerned, like you just <laughs> see Dante. I mean, also magic. like as a player, like too, out of like, character. Yeah, yeah um, out of character. What's her name? Fiona used remove oh, curse no. on him, and now he ah. seems like a different person. Ah, okay, cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool. Uh, so right. Sorry, I wasn't. I was. I was doing my dog, so I gotta put him out. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Dude. Done. So, yeah, get up to so that's yeah. dispel magic. Uh, I guess sure. Dante will step away. Uh, maybe like spin around this area 5 10 15 around i see still wants like line of sight of everyone but he will be like behind fiona while he's spinning that way he fate looks at alcaras and says be still now be still now i we do not want to hurt you and then that's it and turn he did register that, although he can't see you because the only thing he's seeing is Abdiel pointing his sword at him. So there you go. This is such a weird thing for him right now. He is not in a good place. All right. Yeah, I, I, Dante doesn't want to tell Rico to let up yet because he's, you know, he's paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smart plan, smart plan. Okay, okay. next up is Ulf. Now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, smash. I just found him. Oh, God. Oh, smash. Oh, smash. <laughs> God damn it. All oh, right. Like it goes crazy. <laughs> Dude, he's smelling blood right now. He's thinking, now's my time. Then he just goes for it. Here we go. Okay, I have to look at the AC of a hobgoblin again. Here we go. Ah. Oh wow, that's not a good AC. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
of of then get blessed, you know? Okay, yeah. I didn't get blessed. It's just normal Dude. attack for you, buddy. Did you want me to spend a third level spell slot on NPCs? Come on. <laughs> They're your friends. What the fuck? I wasn't anyway. there, Lish. I wasn't there. I know it's sad. Oh, ho, ho, that hits. So he, the dude who he's attacking right now, is going to take uh thirteen damage. Oh shit, that's enough. Oh, so, oh, how do you yeah, want to do dude. this? <laughs> oh, so oh, off, like. Um, you know, he uh, he hears you say smash, and that's yeah. exactly what he does. He pounces on top of this thing, pinning it down. W wait, not then, that kind uh, of smash? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <dude>. Noise! <laughs> I didn't pick up on that, but when he said that, not that kind of smash. <laughs> why, why, Wayne? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Anyways, anyways. Wayne started so he's, been, <laughs> he's been down right now, and... The, um, this creature, the the hobgoblin, he just spits in its face as Oh, dude, it's you're not making last... it any easier. Oh, wow. <laughs> you're not making it any easier. Spitting, pinning yeah, him down, yeah. dude. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, dude, God, you're God. ruining the moment. Come on, guys. I'm sorry, dude. You're not making it any easier. <laughs> Alright, anyways. And then after that, uh, he bears his teeth on his neck and rends his neck out. As he has finally gotten what he came for, then he looks back at Fatal and he says, "Thank you. I will make sure." Uh, he he says thank you and then he tells you that I wish you well on your fight. And then no, I I thought I thought him, bro, you missed spot. So <laughs> then I have a goblin right there, dude. <laughs> Can he reach him? <laughs> Uh, can he actually? I don't think so. I don't know. Aren't aren't red rats fast? Let's see. He was like right next to you almost. So yeah. fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Ah, oh, yeah, he can get there. And then he does nice. one more bite attack. Nice, <laughs> miss spot, buddy. Yeah, and he says that. Actually, no. Wait, he has this guy on his other hand right now, and then he kind of like. Seems like he's going bipedal after that. Yeah. No, brings yeah. him. Yeah, he's bringing him along. He does not want to lose his prize. Oh, right. oh god, this guy. I love him already. He's, he's pretty mild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then he tries to bite this guy. Here we go. Uh, plus 9, 15. That will hit. Oh, 9 plus 9. Yeah, that'll definitely hit. And he takes 13 damage. He's looking barely injured. No, it's a were rat as well! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it works, but... <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the end of his turn. Next up we have Alcaras. So Alcaras... Here's that he shouldn't move. He's restrained. Is there anything he can do while he's restrained? Uh... Let me check his trained. Yeah, I'm checking as well. Speed becomes zero, can't have speed bonuses. Attack rolls against creature have advantage. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and dexterity saves. They can move and would. I know, not move, but they can attack or do actions. Mm, yeah, so they can do that. But they can't get out of restraint, can they? Unless they make the spell end. <laughs> this is a really messed up spell, guys. <laughs> damn. Alright. He can't make a so... saving throw at the end of his turn, or at the start of his turn. No, they're just yeah. stuck there. Wow. They're either stuck there for one minute, or they take the damage. That's their ultimatum. Um, yeah. yeah. Their ultimatum. My prison, right? Yeah, yeah my prison. prison. Yeah. So, yeah, right now, on his turn, First things first, so he's seeing Abdel, he kind of like seems to be out of something right now. And then he looks at, he just looks like his face is going up, but to him he's facing Abdel right now. And it's a look of sorrow, you can see this Dante, and Rico, you can see this as well. 
actually, from your 30 feet up and that far. And then he kind of like faces the direction where he felt um, Fiona. And then he says, Fiona, tell me it's not true. Then he's kind of like trying to reach out to her because she knows he knows that's where uh, Fiona was. So go ahead and roll 10d10 psychic damage. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Can this Please be see. like a non fatal attack? If you want it to be, sure. Yeah. Okay, 10d10. Put 53. Okay, he's still alive. He's looking. Really badly. He's looking like injured now, though. Okay. Or is it almost badly? It's almost badly injured. Uh. Okay. 69 plus 53. 112. Oof. 12. Goodness. Oof. Alright. So, yeah, as he reaches out towards Fiona, he doesn't see Abdiel and the illusion anymore. He takes a ton of damage, but he he flinches, but he's not focusing on how hurt he is. He's just reaching out to Fiona, putting his hand over her. Like, he dropped his blade at this point. Oh. He says, yeah. Like, he tells... How can this be? Then just pauses there, thinking for a moment, and then he looks up at you, uh, Rico. Mm -hmm. And he looks up at you for just a moment before he looks away. It's like a look of shame. He looks away and looks down on the floor. He can't face you right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. And right now he'll just spend his turn doing nothing because it's a lot to take in for him at the moment. And then so, meanwhile, the nun from Game of Thrones just strings a bell yelling shame at him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then at the end of his turn, he makes a saving throw to see if he's still synaptic static. Okay, this time he's no longer having muddled thoughts, which is actually very Thematic. timing. Yeah. Very <laughs> it's <hard>. very timing. <laughs> oh my god. I love it when the dice tell a story, guys. Alright, so that is the end of his turn. Fatal, you're next. Hello. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's still the orc and the freaking fleet fiend. Cannot reach a feed fiend while make more way there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Cheat fucking crazy. <laughs> you can um, dash. Uh, I want to dash, but maybe I can hit the orc with a guiding bolt. 15, 20, 25, 30. There's a ruler to all my dude. All right. See. 90 feet. I'll make it. Yeah, I think I'll make it. Yeah. I will guiding bolt him. And you know what? I'll use my inspiration to get advantage. Ah, what, level nice. should I, what level should I use it? Um, fourth level? Yeah, might as well, right? Okay. Fourth level. Guiding bolt. I, I can see him, right? From where I am. Yes, we like, can. Like, just like slither to my friends, you know? I'm a, I'm a pretty dead shot guiding bolt. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I will roll for that. Plus nine? Plus eleven. Okay, crazy. Two. Sure oh, you'll shit. Hit, right? 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 <laughs> now you said that, I'm probably gonna miss. Uh, two, twenty plus eleven. Oh, natural twenty. Nice. Crazy. Oh my god. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Twenty and one. Twenty and Fourteen? one. D six. 7d6? What yeah, so 14d6. Fourth level. Oh my so god. So 14d6. 14d6. Alright, let me spread that. That's the same I... damage as freaking Psychic Scream, guys. What the right? fuck? Right? Like, Psychic Scream is like a ninth level spell? Eight. Yeah, That's dude. Right. Jesus. 44 points of radiant damage. Nice. 44. <sighs> oh my god. Is he and then, alive? As okay, I point at him, and I shoot out it from my finger, and then like Fatal looks at his finger and said, 
Maybe I'm that kind of cleric. <laughs> Maybe I am. All Maybe right. I am that kind of cleric. Dang, dude. Okay, that was a great action. What else do you do? That's in my turn. I am not from right. Florida, so. Okay. Unless I want to. Wait, no. How does it look like? He looks badly injured, I would say. Oh, should I? Should I? Do I even have range? Uh, Firebolt. Yeah, I do have range. Ooh, let's firebolt him. Okay, try, man. Yeah, we'll if do you that. If crit again, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I will quicken spell and just duck that later. Firebolt. Uh, I have a feeling this one's not gonna hit, but. Uh, 20. 20, 20 flat. will hit. A Go knight. ahead and roll 3d10. 3d10. 15 sure. points of fire damage. He's. Near death now. No, bitch! Okay, that's the end of my turn. I might kill, I might kill. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, yeah, that's the end of my turn, but he's, I can't move anymore. I have I move 30 feet. They gotcha. Next up, we have after um, Fatal. After Fatal, it's back to the top of the round. Rico. Ooh, wait. I could have empowered spell that, right? Ah, uh, is it uh, worth it? The three and the two? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I want to. I want to. So <laughs> when you roll roll damage for spell, you can spend one sorcery point to reroll up to four of the dice. I just rolled a three and a two, okay? Yeah, go. Do it. So that's uh that's the one. So that's five, that's already fifteen, and then that two, this one I'm reloading the two. Fifteen. Oh, that's twenty-five. Twenty-five total. It's, yeah. So sixty-five plus twenty-five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll give you this. You missed by one HP. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right, there you go. I just like I told you, I'm a dead shot, and it's hit the you know, guiding ball, like hit him in the head, and I hit him in the same hole with the fireball. <laughs> yeah, and uh, do you want this? Oh, I realized I had advantage on that too, but whatever. Yeah, uh, no, make it lethal. All right, make it he's, lethal. He's dead. He's racist, so. Yeah, he is racist, dude. Like, That's that not my turn. I'm gonna hide the fact that he's That's, racist. That is the end of my turn. Spicy, spicy. That was a good turn. Okay, nice. Next up, we have Rico at the top of the round. So, yeah, you saw that whole thing go down with Fiona and Alcaras. And right now, you're seeing Alcaras, who looked at you for but a glance, and then it's looking down and away from me right now. Uh, I see that. I register that. Then I notice Fenrir needs my help, so I'm going to fly there <laughs> and help him out. All right. So, 5, 10, 20. He's about to say, does everyone... <laughs> did did any, everyone forget there was a bailor in front of me right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Know, right? <laughs> I'm the one... I'm the one who's like, we need to get this, get rid of this guy. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quicken spell and summon a celestial. So I will have oh. her appear here, and she is, she's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna put her, uh. 50 feet off the ground, she's flying as well. Okay, and the range of your thing is 60 feet, right? The the range of her summoning is 90 feet. Oh, that's even better. Okay, yeah. good job. Okay, <laughs> and then uh, from there, um, how tall is the Baylor? Uh, the the Baylor, hmm. Is he like 30 feet tall or like 20 feet? Like how, how big are we talking? Maybe closer to like 20, 25 feet, something 25. like that. 25. Okay. okay. Hmm. Should I do this now? Uh, I'm gonna... Wait, I'm gonna re retract my, uh, my movement. I'm gonna lower myself 25... I don't know, like 20 feet down the ground. So I'm like 20 feet down the ground now. Okay. Okay. And then I'm wondering, from that, I'm planning to use my Eldritch Boom. So I want to make sure I hit it 
in an angle where Fenrir doesn't get hit, would this be a safe, like, you oh, know? Yeah. Totally, okay. totally. That'll work. Okay. It's still, oh, yeah? it's still blessed, by the way. Nice. I will take out my Redeemer sword, and it's just glowing like it. Its black blade is getting reflective and it's shining with red light. And then I just, yeah, I just swing into the air and yell out Eldritch Boom. And now a red line just starts flying. It's outlined with black energy flying towards the Baylor and hitting him like an oh, air lord. God damn it, dude. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, that'll reach. That's way than enough. That's way more than enough. So go ahead and roll your damage. I have to make a save. Yeah. <laughs> Dante is reminding you you won't be able to rest after this. <laughs> Even short yeah, rest? We get short rest after this? I don't oh, think shit. so, man. Like, I really don't think so. <laughs> nice. It's gonna be a marathon run, in a sense. All right. So, by the way, I re I researched about magic resistance. So there's a couple of people who think that even for magic items, magic resistance would work. So I'd like to get everyone's feedback on that. What do you guys think? Um, when we did Abdiel's uh, thing, he didn't have an advantage, even though he had magic resistance. So would this also count? This is not even like a spell. It's like a magic attack. Yeah, so, okay, let's go with that, Nalang. Unless it specifically says it's a spell, we'll go with that. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. here we go. With that, dexterity save. That's going to be 18? I think your I think save he... DC right now is 17, yeah? I think, no, I, it's, uh, I believe it's 18. Let me double check. It is 18, so he just passes. Yeah, so he just passes. He'll take half of this, though. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, 43, oh shit. Nice, okay, so half of 43 is 21. 20. 21, yeah. Okay, with 21 damage, 174. 21 95 okay yeah this Baylor is still looking injured only for the most part okay yeah and um, next will be Redeemer's turn and Go. she's going to uh, use her laser sword attacks <laughs> which I flavored um, there you go. let's see this is 2d 20. He can, she can attack twice and they're all plus 10. Okay. Um, that's artificial 20 and 16. The 20 will hit, the 16 will not. Okay. He gets 2d6 plus. Uh, this is 7. Okay. Let me double check. 2d6 plus. You casted this at five, fifth level, yeah? So yeah, 2d6 plus 7. Level. Yeah, 7. So he gets 14 points. 14. All right. Plus 14. 209. Goodness. Oof. Okay. He's looking badly injured now. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, that ends my turn. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, that ends my turn. Okay. So Rico is done. Hobgoblins. So the fight will end after you defeat the Baylor, because the Hobgoblins will just keep on reinforcing. So okay. Another one comes out, and... Uh, Elf doesn't seem like he's in a good spot right now, because they both <laughs> just do fireball on him. So this one at third level. Okay, so I'm gonna roll two saves for the dude. Here we go. Plus two to each. DC 13. Oh my god, he failed both. It's a good thing he's resistant. Alright. 8d6. Half of that is 10. 9d6. 
That is 13. 13 plus 10, 23. 57 damage. Okay. Wolf is looking injured now. So. Probably gonna get the fuck out of there later. Alright, so that's the end of the Hobgobby's turns. Next up we have the Baylor. This might be the Baylor's last turn. So we'll go out with a bang. Alright. Oh my god. So this Baylor can walk up to 80 feet. I mean, can fly up to 80 feet. Fire aura within 5 feet. So you don't take damage, Fenrir. Good thing you went away from him. Then, let's see, 80 feet, he's gonna be flying. Let's see. Flying all the way there. Where? So, let's see, will Fenrir even have an opportunity attack? He can kind of like angle out of there. So, he'll fly all the way here. Like, right smack in the middle of everything. Oh, fuck. Um, he's also in the air 20 feet up, so he's gonna try and strike you, my dude. Was she striking me? Yeah. I cast shield. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, so he's in the ground right now, and he's trying to pull you down. So let's see if that'll work. He no longer has advantage. There we go. Sha. Oh my, dude. 19 plus 16. <laughs> he got me. Gotcha. Alright. So, you get pulled... Oh, no, wait. Make a strength save. Oh. You see 20. Uh... This is not good. <laughs> My strength isn't that great. I know. Most of your strengths aren't that great. It's eight. <laughs> Aww. Okay, you are now on the ground, so you're no longer 20 feet up. Okay. Uh, you're not prone, though, so that's the good thing. Okay. Alrighty. And then you take 25 damage total. It's 15 slashing, 10 fire from that whip. Shit, okay. Yeah. Alright, and then his final, or not his final, but his long sword attack with the lightning blade. Dude, I'm rolling like crazy right now. That's a 34 to hit. Okay. Alright. Uh, you take 34 damage. I don't think you're resistant to lightning or slashing though, so 34 mm. damage. Alrighty. And then. Bonus action, attack with his sword again. 14 plus 16, 30 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, this is sometimes the reason why I don't cast shield right away, because it might not matter in all of the attacks. <laughs> Fucking 30 to hit, what the hell? Right. Okay, so anyways, there you go. You're going to take another 34 damage, so... Dang, that was a lot. 34, 34, 25, 93 damage. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, you're fine. Pretty sure it's still like halfway to a HP or something. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Alright, so that is the end of his turn. Okay. Baylor's turn is done. Fenrir, your, your prey went away from you. Yeah. Um, I um, will, I will basically shout at him, and I will say, Oi, you fiery son of a bitch. <laughs> Today is a good day for you to die. And I will shoot my arrows, uh, my, my bow at him. Sure, so I guess you kind of like throw your swords to the side and get your... Yeah, I, I, I just drop them. There you go, all right. It. You might kill him, actually. Try it, man. No. Yeah, I try my best. 25 to hit. 25. Oh, wait. I didn't add the R. 
3d6. Okay. 16 damage. Ah, okay. So 25 will hit. You do a total of 16. Good job. Uh, 3d... Sorry, sorry. D. 3d6. Oh, shit. I don't think that hits. 15. Sorry, man. Uh, wait, you're blessed, I think, so go ahead and roll a d4 just to see. You might roll a 4 for all of you know. Hopefully. <laughs> One! Oh, ah, sorry, man. Alright, last attack. B 1d4 and uh, 3d6. Let's do this! 20 to hit. 20 will hit, 18, 18 damage, 243, he is looking near death. I will, uh, throw my second javelin. <laughs> oh shit, how yeah. many lightning javelins do you have there? Only two. <laughs> Only but two, okay. I'm assuming I also, yeah, I can pick up the, yeah, the second. Yeah. yeah, you can pick up the other one after yeah. this battle, no problem. 20 to hit! 20 uh... <laughs> will hit, and he is resistant to lightning, so let's half that first. 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. 6 plus 6, so half of that is 6. Alright, and 6, that'll be... 17, yeah? 17 damage. Does that do it? <laughs> mm. No, nah, even though it's two damage less. Fenrir, how do you want to do this? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Basically, yeah, throw that javelin as hard as I can and try to impale it in his heart. Oh, shit! Okay, so your first three arrows, they hit him on, like, his wings, right? Or no, 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 it can be his arms so that it exposes his heart. And then after that, yeah, you throw your javelin. And even though he's resistant to lightning, it was thrown so hard, and it was right at the heart. So yeah, his heart explodes. But his heart is not the only thing that explodes. So within 30 feet, let's see how far that is. 30, 30, 30. I'm using yeah. my inspiration for this deck save, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. So Alcaras, Alcaras, um, Yona, Yona and Monte, Monte. you mm -hmm. both have plus three. So yeah, all of you have plus three. Rico doesn't, unfortunately. Yeah. But you can use your inspiration for this one. Now might be the time. Yeah. All right, roll your deck saves as you're about to take 20d6 fire damage. Oh, he explodes on the <laughs> one. He explodes. Yeah, that's what ba that's Baylor's thing, dude. They explode when they die. <laughs> it's okay. That's why that's we didn't want to. We didn't want to meta game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, basically, when I threw the javelin of lightning, I was like a pitcher. <laughs> Yeah, I'm internally like, like oh. going to do it and I'm going to be killed. <laughs> okay, this is uh, with inspiration, so... Bless also, this no? Is fine. Yeah, bless. Yeah. Bless also, yeah. With a plus, plus six, with a plus that's three. 20. Yes, plus three. Pass. This is a DC 20, right? Yeah. Yes, DC 20. Dante passes. It. And... Oh, Alcaraz fails. Dang. Oh, well, good. is that... Uh, probably not. Fiona's there and can revive him. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, she's gonna use one of her gems to revive <laughs> this dude. An NPC has no right. <laughs> wow. Is that how that Wait, works? It's an NPC I... reviving an NPC, so, you know, fair is fair. <laughs> I mean, he's using one of our player gems. <laughs> It's fine, I gave it. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Okay. Weren't you the still... one complaining about how the orc was racist towards the elf? 
Yeah, but they're like NPCs finding each other. That's fine. You're like an existentialist or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dude, feel no feel. No, existentialists believe that existence is valuable. So you know, because I'm oh, an ah. existentialist, and ah. existence is the existence. opposite. <laughs> yeah, I am a non-existentialist. Yeah, basically an essentialist. There's exactly. a difference in ah. essence, right? Okay. Mm, there you go. Dante obviously passes. Uh, what did you roll, Raf? 20. Artificial 20. 20 will also pass, so the both of you have this damage. Here we go. 20 d6. Fucking shit. 60. Oh, 60. Oh, that's Goodness. a lot. That is a lot. This is fire damage? Yeah, so you, oh, you. have... <laughs> You know, I couldn't report this, but I used my reaction, so I am knocked out. <laughs> you're knocked, knocked out? out. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Shit. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. You're that, was the last, that was the last enemy, basically. <laughs> Hang on, fire okay. shield. There's a random... Yeah. There's a random cop goblin still there, though. No, I take, I take half of that, and I don't have resistance to fire. Oh. Excuse me. You don't? Ah, oh, yeah, you're resistant to cold, cold. right? Yeah, yep. cold. See, it's warm? Or was it warm? Right? Warm shield, warm. yeah. Warm shield. Oh. So it takes 30 damage. So as damage. that happens, Fenrir just says to himself, Whoops! <laughs> 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 you, can, you can actually think that your lightning is so good that it blew everyone away. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's true. Like, I don't know my own strengths. <laughs> I don't know my own strengths. <laughs> he looks at his own hands like, oh. That's power from my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Alcaras unfortunately does kick the bucket, so he's dead, but he won't be for long. Alright, uh, and, <laughs> we and then I just kill him again, and then she revives him again, and then I kill him again. <laughs> oh, dude. That's how we run out of freaking gems. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Alright, so, um,. Okay, oh, we are out of combat, so oh, wow, nice. that, that fight ended pretty early. We have 30 minutes left, so okay, let me go over. You know, before the be sailor fun. explodes, I just stare at Fenrir and I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yeah, when there's like explosion, right? It's like yeah. when the, it's like what they call the subtitles, like, God damn it, it's like a, it's like a dash. It <laughs> uh, <laughs> blows up. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, Fiona is not looking so good right now. And then I run. Fun. I run towards where the explosion was, and yeah. I'm just like, I have to give them moral support because I can't heal anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you have potions. You have potions. have potions, but I'm not. Well, who needs have... potions? I have. I have. I have. Four. You you've seen me put potions in my bag, so you should and like. No, 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 Fiona, yeah, yeah. Fiona, Fiona can, what do you call it, can touch you and you'll be alive again. <laughs> she has yeah, lay so... on hands, yeah, she has lay on hands. So we'll do this one by one, so first things first, um, <laughs> what do you call this, Ulf is kind of like not going to be getting himself killed for this, especially right after getting his prize, so at the distance you see him dimension dooring the hell out of there, along with his... Along with his trophy, so a he's wear -wear. completely out of the battlefield now. Okay. And okay. that's probably going to be the last time you ever see Alf ever again. And that wow. was the end of that was just a drive-by, bro. That was just a drive-by, bro. That was a drive-by. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Baylor exploded, so nothing remains, not even his weapons. So. How about the javelins? Oh no! Oh, uh, the javelins fine, but okay. his weapons are gone. Oh uh, yeah, it's not like yeah. I can wield that too big for me. It's the biggest me, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You're, it's as tall as you are. And I'm a tall know, man. Not, yeah, it's not there anymore though. Uh, Alcaraz died, but then Fiona brings him back with her last third level spell slot for Vivify. And his soul is willing to return? Good. Good. God, we can torment him more, so <laughs> what happens now we just mind prison him again when he jumps back? Uh, he's got 1 HP from being revivified. Oh, he can't even survive a mind, a mind prison, that's sad. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, and then he's just in Fiona's arms right now. And the... um, I point at Rico. That like, can we can we <laughs> help him out first before we go to like this part? It's on the touch. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, like somebody can do that right now. Fiona is like, you know, concerned with. Okay, right. Dante will do it. Dante will go. Dante will go. Goes through. Goes through Rico's bags and get a potion and uh, administer it to him. You have to make this a potion. You can have to touch him. Please, why are you so mad? We bought a lot of <laughs> potions for this reason. Relax, we don't have man. to use resources, man. You just have to touch you. God, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rico is no longer dying. <laughs> what potion was that? Uh, I only have the potion. What? Your I cheapest have, like, a one. Potion of supreme healing, so should this be one. It is the cheapest one. The cheapest one. You have, I don't uh, know, a regular potion of healing? Yeah, I have two potions of healing. That so, okay. one, just the one. Okay, okay so 2d4 plus 4. I can roll it. Two, eight. eight. Okay. It healed up 8 HP. <laughs> without without missing a beat, I just get up and like cough out, like, suit off my mouth. And I'm just like, god damn it. And then I just take out, like, the potion of supreme healing and just, like, drink that too. Okay. Yeah, so you have a bit of time here to recover, but not a short rest. So you mm -hmm. can like drink potions, cast some healing spells, whatever. Um, yeah, so the artillery men, they're kind of like low in numbers right now, and they're being dealt with by, I guess, Fenrir, who can shoot them dead in one hit, probably, or That's just funny. a couple of hits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, along with the assistance of other people helping out, so yeah. Um, what Fiona, about the elephants? The elephants, they're helping out in the distance. You're, they're not trying to get close, as mm. as you told them. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So right now you have a bit of respite here. Probably not for long though. Fiona takes this time to kind of like nurse Alcaros back to health. She kind of like takes some of the healing potions that she stocked up and is administering it to him as well. And then I ask uh, him. Oh yeah, do you go close? I go so close. Yeah, and I ask uh I ask her what sort of curse could be on him that he's fully capable of using a talisman of ultimate evil? I thought only willing creatures can use that. <laughs> Alcaros is trying to find the strength to speak up, but he just looks at Fiona and you. Or not he look at you, it's like looking down and says in like a very uh, sad tone, or like a defeated tone, more like, like, don't deserve to live. It's just looking away. Uh, Fiona, uh, mm. do you want to say something before Fiona does something? No, 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 let Fiona speak. No, no, this is an opportunity for you, Rico, because, like, this uh, is your follower who... Uh, I tell him, okay, then I, uh, when he says that, uh, um, uh, I point at Tim and sternly tell him, you don't get to get away with that easily. You have shamed me, you have shamed our entire order and you shamed your family for hurting innocent people and you're going to spend the rest of your living days making up for it dante steps forward <clears throat> interposes himself a little bit and uh faces rico and says bishop he was clearly not in control and if you remember only a few months ago over a year actually this what happened to me was not far off from what happened to him. I understand that. But he has done so much harm for how long? Probably long. You. Yeah. all a bit interjects. I mean, with all that punishment, you sure you just don't want to kill him instead? No, we won't kill him. That's... So that you, 
rather than make him suffer. He will atone for his sins, and that is suffering enough. Uh, Dante will look at Fiona and ask, Lady Fiona, what plans have you for Alcaraz now? Well, she says, uh, I'll be bringing him back to my home, as I said. But before that, we have to take over this place and find your grandfather. Yeah, we should do that. So when is he gonna go through the thing? After he goes to your home or before? How does this work? No, well, first off, we, we must. Know. We will strip Alcaraz of his weapons, weapons and shields. magic items. Yeah, that's right. Hand him over. <laughs> hand him over, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't resist. He's just deep in thought right now, and um, Fiona kind of like uh, puts it, pulls his chin up and gives him like a good hard slap. Oh, and I have one HP though. <laughs> Alright, kill through again. <laughs> no, the slap also is all a lay on hand, so. Ah, lay on. Ah, it okay, just cancels okay, the okay. damage. It just cancels the damage. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so nice. Right now. Anyways. Just slap on hand. <laughs> uh, she continues by saying that. Uh, what's the matter with you? You're free now, aren't you? Continue living on. Pedro's about to say something, but it's not the self. <laughs> Deep in his mind, it's like, I'm gonna need kind of not. He's kind of not free. <laughs> I, I wanna tell Alcaraz, like, you can start atoning for his sins by telling us who is in charge of this castle and how do we take over. He says, I do not know who it is. I only know that he goes by the moniker and. <gasps> what? What's the moniker? I couldn't hear it. Oh, but there. Abathur? What the fuck? His name is Abath? What? No, N. It's N. The moniker. Is this the guy who saved Dante? <clears throat> no. No, no, no. Who is this? Who is this dude? Who is. Wait, trying, I can't recall anything. DM, does. does Dante knows, knows, knows this, this moniker? Yeah, you know this moniker. D you guys just see. Oh, actually, you don't because Dante is covered in shadow and shit. But... <laughs> you don't see shit, Dante. <laughs> but we but, can hear you. <gasps> yeah, yeah, in, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In your in the telepathic bond, uh, you hear Dante say, and you know he's normally eloquent and like he speaks yeah. very very well, but yeah. this time he just says, "Oh fuck." <laughs> That's what he Wait, said. Dante, what do you mean? Oh fuck! Who I can't do that, and I'm like, what? Who is it, Dante? Uh, so uh, you yeah. guys are all having this moment right now, and in the distance, let me let me oh. chug a health pot for a second. Oh shit! In the distance, you see that you hear something like going it. on right now, and um, it seems to be that a gate has opened in the distance. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, no, and um, you see this figure over here. Let me see if I can get it. And da, da, da. Mm. <laughs> here we go. Shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God! It's um, it's Beyonce. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I wish it's Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, so you see that guy kind of like the first figure to get out of the portal, and alongside him, it's Happening. it seems to be like a metallic thingy that looks like an armadillo, and then beside him there's also let's see wait <laughs> let me check my notes. <laughs> Beside him, you also see like a whole army of demons. Oh my god. Yeah. And then <laughs> um, you can hear in your minds he's saying, Naughty, naughty. Oh. Yeah. 
And I think we'll end the session there. Yeah. So... Oh, before we end the session, so oh. you see that happening, and then um, another portal, or not another portal, but a figure suddenly appears right in front of you, Dante. Okay. And let me send a picture. Your grandpa. Uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, hang on. I need I it's need to share grandpa. share this information to the party. Wait, wait. Let me take this picture. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And also grandpa. share here. <laughs> there you go. Your grandfather. Where is it? Okay. That's tomorrow. The ah, so that's N. Ah. Yeah, zooms. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Oh, oh dear. My god. <laughs> and then uh, you see your grandfather now, Dante, because you have caught everyone's attention, apparently. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, nice. Uh, uh, Arturo is not alone. Arturo with him has what seems to be some fake creatures that he brought along with him. Ooh. And, what? Yeah. And well, I could have uh, done that earlier, Dante. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we were fighting the dudes. We were fighting dude. the <laughs> Dude, give us a moment here, man. I'm trying to establish a scene. All right. So, anyways, um, Arturo Mara appears, and then he says, "Didn't that say more?" Dude. Well, he says, "Um, Dante, I'm glad that you've come this far." Will you help your grandpops take care of his foolish student? Dante will just say... Um, he'll just... He'll be baffled at first, and then he will say... I've been waiting a long time for this. Alright. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, and that's how I'll end the session. So, the nice. map is going to look a bit different. It won't look quite like this. So, yeah, I'll be making adjustments to it for <laughs> positioning and all that. Yeah. One thing to note, so Arturo won't be fighting alongside you. What he's going to do instead is he's going to be keeping the demons at bay so that you can fight against N properly. Oh, okay. like it's not like his birth name that someone just gave him a letter for a name. <laughs> no. He's like, like, you know, like L from Death Note or like, you know, yeah, that's just they yeah. they look at like their parents just look at the alphabet the moment they're born, just like, oh that's a good that's a good letter. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good letter. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, oh, he's the N-word! I realized that! He's the N-word! <laughs> no! Oh my god! Oh, okay. He's the N-word! Oh my god, no wonder why! Okay, I get it now. That's a good <laughs> twist. <laughs> that is so stupid! <laughs> he's a walking N-word. You can't, you can't say his name, dude. He's a walking N-word. <laughs> no, why? Funny. The entire team is just racism. <laughs> By the way, whoever You're was drinking potions, go ahead and like recover that HP, but you yeah, don't I get don't... any rest benefits. Yeah, I didn't mm. I didn't chug I didn't chug some stuff. Uh, who else has like a stronger healing potion? Because I have like one I remaining. Used, I used all of it. And I'm not even full health yet. Fenrir, what about you? Do you have any potion? Uh, yeah, I'll use I still have yeah, you more. Sure. You already use yours because you need healing right now, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do? I'm. <laughs> I I basically took what was that around ninety. I took, I took four. Yeah, I took four potions. Your ones are ninety on the ninety plus damage. Dude, I dude, I took what seventy? Yeah, I took seventy. I took seventy something. Rico. They were attacking me and you, and yeah. then eventually they attack Rico. <laughs> They were I'll, everywhere. Uh, I'll cure once myself on the fourth level as well. You know, it's a funny scene as the gates open, we just start chugging potions. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. How much I have? 
I have two greater healing, so I will use that. So wait, so wait, so wait, so wait. The the end guy is the one. The the picture of him now is the one in the mask, right? It looks badass. Yeah. Fenrir. Uh, Fenrir. Yes. Can I can I ask for a greater healing potion? I'll trade you a potion of speed for it. Oh. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Thank you. By the way, Fenrir, I forgot to ask, did you drink an invulnerability potion before this fight, or no? No, no, no. Yeah, uh, you're time. saving it for a rainy I'm day. saving it for, for the last... He's <laughs> saving it for the N-word. Yeah. God <laughs> damn it. I'll, I'll say that you have a chance to drink it just before the fight. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, find so out. I'm not nice, okay. I better find out this guy's full name before I kill him. It's bothering me to this N. There's that Dude. James Bond lady though. Her name's just M. Yes. Man, uh, it was yeah. really hard to make an emotional impact for what's his name for Alcaraz because everyone was just joking around. <laughs> yes, he can. Dude, oh, he he can. Can. Dude, let's be honest with this guy. It's just a fucking joke, man. Can. No. Like, it's a freaking hip hop song. Like, er all the NPCs are a joke for Ken. <laughs> I know, all the NPCs are just a joke for him. Because he missed two sessions, man. Like, I, I, I don't know that the Dark Knight I thought would completely, like, freaking wreck us. But a guy just could, couldn't do anything, dude. Yeah, but bro, you need... I also got the drop on him, that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, that's that's why that's why I get it. Like, I was like, dude, come on, man. Like, what the fuck is this guy gonna do? You, you gotta chill. We need our emotional scenes too. Most of it is like so downplayed now. <laughs> yeah, wait, are yeah. you, wait, are you, yeah, do, know, do, right. do you like, are you emotionally connected with that? Can I still <laughs> chug some healing <laughs> potions? Yeah, I can. I still um, have some, some, uh, the, the lowest portions of healing just to get my HP up. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'll I don't down know a few. If there's going to be a better time for that. <laughs> I'll down a yep. few things too, and I have a question, DM. How many how many minutes of that like passed so I know which buffs pass away? Are still lasting? Yeah. Ah, okay. Probably. Mm, Does it reach like ten? Minute. Ah, only a minute. Okay, so just the minutes minute buffs go away. Yeah, just the minute buffs go away. Because <laughs> like Got I it. imagine ten rounds of just drinking shit. You know, it's enough time. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Okay. You go. So let me note of what. And by the way, again, yeah, like Enrico's case and also in Cinnabar's case, but Cinnabar's not here, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. Because Rico really hated this guy. And now, I mean, I don't know how he feels about him. Like, all of you still don't know what happened to him, really. I, I just saw a guy pop out in that military thing, that's, that's it. Like, I find it hard for him to, like... I'm like, he used the talisman of pure evil, only... How can he... How can a brainwashed person do that? So I'm just like... Maybe his have... body his body was taken over, not not brainwashed. Maybe he was possessed. Who, who took him over? That's, that's what I'm that's thinking. That's a better explanation if he's not brainwashed, you know what I mean? So who took in him due, over? Who was controlling in him? Due time, everybody. But in I'm glad time. that everyone's thinking about it. <laughs> I'm mean, loving it. How long does true sight last? The what did? It's an hour. True one scene. hour. Oh, yeah. Okay. One I will hour. use one more restorative ointment, and I should be blade full health. Will be gone. Hey, there you go. Ooh, Everyone's using yeah. their shit. I'm happy. Off. What are what are that 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 last? I still have one more, I think, but that last one basically just gave me enough to be back at play. <laughs> Which one? The what? The seven. Just the seven. seven. <laughs> yeah, oh, seven. Okay. Wait, did we get heal? Uh, everyone's drinking potions right now. Yeah, I, I oh, drank yeah. all of mine. Yeah, I need. Well, I think everyone already drank their potion. Anyone else has some excess potions? I have one more! I have what is it? It <clears throat> That's the lowest one. Oh my uh, god, I wrote that on you! Now, can I have that? <laughs> yeah, sure. That, uh, that 2d4 plus 4, right? Yes. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Ah, uh, plus 2, right. 4 points, I wrote double ones. Can I... 
Can I empower this? <laughs> Four. There we go. 142. Still lacking, what? 18. How much is a superior so healing potion? 44. That's superior. That would that's be... 64, I think. 84? 1-5? Uh, no, no, no. I mean great. Uh, so, potion great healing. Great 44. I uh, got it. And the basic yeah. one is 2d4, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have... Supreme is... I have one of each. 10 d4. Superior is 8. Then minus 44. The greater. Plus... The greater is 44. 14. So that's... 23. Okay. So fifty one minus twenty three. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Ten ten rounds DM no. Can I can I spend some of those rounds recasting some of the buffs? That, yeah, you're still in a battlefield. It's just that, uh, you know, the explosion and your friends helping out kind of like cleared the way for you to Got heal it. up for a little bit. Just so I can, this, I can use the potion of invulnerability now, right? And then the, it will take an effect before the fight. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Especially right. if you're seeing a portal, right? I'm pretty sure yeah. you would down it. It's like, like oh okay. shit. <laughs> Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> yeah, just, just... Dude, we that, when the gate opened, we just start chugging potions. Dude. That scene right there. So that's one, two, three, and then. Yeah, I love that combo that Wayne has going. It maximizes his, uh, what do you call it, action economy. Especially with the setup. And mm -hmm. I'll just down a potion of heroism for good measure. <laughs> yeah, dude, you might not get another chance, right? Yes. Uh, Link, I'm converting all of my level 1 slots to sorcery points just to replenish the points, so there's uh, that. During the one minute, okay. Yeah. And Should I do that? And I'm downing my potion of heroism as well. <laughs> okay. okay. You have three first level spell slots left now, because you used one for shield. Uh, no, I used all of it, so so I have no more first level spell slots. I don't know. I mean, like before you converted, but like you used a first level for shield a while back. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so you recovered that, that, three sorcery points. Yeah, that's for the that's the sorcery points. I have two warlock uh, slots still, so there's that. And then I'll use I'll use a second level spell slot to recover too, just in case. Okay, second level spell slot to recover to sorcery points. Okay, yeah, he might need it because uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been saving up N for a really long time. Oh, I'm so, so time. happy. <laughs> <laughs> So Anne's like a wizard student of, of Arturo. Uh, Arturo. Yeah, Arturo. He's he so looks weird. like, dude. He looks such a badass, bro. Look bionic and shit, dude. He looks so badass. Say partially warforged. I have the it's partially warforged. I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> DM, I don't I mean, know. It looks like it, dude. Oh, I really yeah. like that art. That looks so good. His art looks so good. The picture that um, Wayne sent of N, I didn't want to use that because, uh, you know, this guy is obviously going to be cloaked and yeah, wearing yeah. a mask. He doesn't want people to see his face. Yeah. But he does have a, yeah, but he does have, that's probably like, you know, his old pick, you know, old PP. <laughs> his old PP. God damn it. God damn oh, it. I'm so, so excited. Yeah, Arturo Amaro is there with you. He's going to be helping out. So yeah, dude, you got to see your grandfather once more. Yeah. Final. High five! Lolo. That was the weirdest thing we were supposed to like look for him, <laughs> but he found us. The twist. Crazy. Oh, that's... Yeah, and apparently you, got, you kind of get a clue of where he came from. Yeah. Why he's been away for so long. 
The Feywild. So I know a bit about the Feywild. This is why <laughs> he went really to the Feywilds. <laughs> this is why we're, local, we're going there in it's season local. three. <laughs> the Feywild. Shit, yeah. you know what would be good right now if one of us attuned to the Iron Stone, but I don't think there's time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be great, right? Yeah, it takes an R. Yeah. That stone would be really. Oh, God. But then also, I'm full with my stuff, too. But that's Everyone's full good. with their stuff, dude. I would replace my real protection with that stone. Too bad, you don't have the time. That's cool, don't worry about it. We just got uh, our way out of this. I hope Cinnabar gets to be here, cause like, she can have a chance to... It'd be cool, no? If she, does, if, if she does come here and arrive, she just like, Guys, I did it! I made my... And then she shows her masterpiece. Yeah, yeah. That'd, that'd be, be great. Cool. And it's a holy hand grenade. <laughs> holy hand grenade. Oh, by the way, you don't really get any rewards except you all level up. Nice. Oh, yeah. Level I'm up. I'm so happy that, you know, the, the Fiend Slayer bow was so useful against the Baylor. Hey, man, I told you you'd be fighting Fiends, right? Yeah. I really like it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the level. So oh no, that's fine. Nice. Everybody, you'll Could be having your down. first seven. You'll be having your first tier, tier four, four adventure. Yeah. I hope, I hope you're all prepared, and there's a really good reason why all of you should be buffed up because this is a high level spellcaster you're facing. Oh, I'm really no. worried about everybody. Oh, I've... yes, time stop. Really worried for everyone. Hopefully That's not. All I'm say. <laughs> that time stop's gonna kill all of us in just one go. <laughs> to be fair, it, it stops. The time stop stops when he casts something that'll damage us. So. Yes, yes. He can time but stop then again, and then buff himself. Yeah, buff himself and get <laughs> everything you have, Dante. <laughs> yeah. And then he just pops up with a freaking fireball or a finger of death or something or even disintegrate. Uh, Jesus oh, Christ. Man. I'm excited it's though. So I'm so fucked! Yeah, I'm I'm I have so an 8 level spell now, right? By the way, if ever Senna yeah, does have a chance to come in, I'll say that she'll participate in that one minute time to buff up. Oh, so yes. she can maybe cast spells on you guys, whatever. Right, right. What right. should I get? Uh, also, Ulf a... and Fiona and uh, Alcaras. Alcaras, they're sitting out this battle Got so it. that you it's guys can player. focus on it completely. Got yep. it. Is it. Are we fighting one guy? He's fighting Ants. You know what would be Shit. cool? He just starts to split himself to like four different people. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty insane, dude. Like, this guy is just a freaking beast. <laughs> Cause it's like, I mean, if he's like a demon or a warforge, that'd be pretty cool, right? Splitting oh, I'm your so excited. Shit. I'm so excited. I'm excited what this guy can do. Link, he looks badass. I, Link, I'm telling Where's you, it? I have a lot of... I have. I don't have a lot, but I have a few dialogue that I've prepared for RP purposes. I know, I actually saw your extras while I was reading through people's stuff today. <laughs> I saw oh. the page, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. I have a 9 level spell slot, I have an 8 level spell slot. Yeah, everybody is 17th level now. How does it feel to be in the <gasps> It's so nice. So dude, Labina, we started feels... from level 1. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Well, I didn't. That's the thing. That's what's sad. <laughs> Come in, oh, Rafi. Oh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know half the people we meet, man. I know, that's true. Kind Sorry of sucks. That, dude. But like... Yeah, that's why it's make out of humor out of it. So we don't care about them. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but, but dude, then, like when it's like you know, like either Dante or mine or Sinas, like try avoid like joking around. So like the sink it was play out. The it way was they just wanted. one black guy, yeah, dude. It was a dark night that I just couldn't freaking hold myself with. <laughs> and I don't well, even try not to with the N guy since you have fun with his name apparently. So you know. <laughs> It's the N-word. That's the thing. Yeah. I gotta yeah. connect somehow. I don't freaking know how to connect with these people. Uh. Yeah, I know. It's been difficult also while you were away, so yeah. Yeah, I like, I don't, I don't even know who Fiona is. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. That's why. That was in session 6 that she came into the picture. Or was it 7? Yeah. Oh. 
go, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, but I'm sorry. Hang on, I'll end the episode. All right. Oh, guys, I'm excited, man. Thank you so much for watching Plucking Strings. This was episode uh, eight, I believe. Am I right? Eight? Yes. Um. Uh, and yeah, next next session is gonna be the finale. I'm excited for that. Looking forward to it. We're all level seventeen. So it's going to be a tier 4 session. And that's it. Really hyped. Uh, I'm really excited. So that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Bye-bye. Take care. GG. Peace.